past Bethesda game start where there's it's yeah. you're the chosen one randomly. It's really funny though because the beginning of Starfield is actually worse than all their other games because due to the fact that all of the like game is mostly procedurally generated empty, you know, landscapes with cup compass markers, you don't have that you know, walk out of the ship from uh, as a slave on Morrowind, or walk you know, north a bit and somebody crashes sewer. to the ground and dies, and you're like, "Oh, yeah. that's interesting." You don't have that opening, like I am walking out of the the you know Imperial City sewers and seeing the world that I can explore. You you walk out onto like literally just a gray PNG, and you're like, "Oh, well, I guess <laughs> I could go over there." But why? That's like really. Yeah, yeah that was I mean, my I've, beef with it. Hmm. I, like I did think it was funny. Um, I don't know if maybe my friend just missed it, but in doing the first like thing where you're supposed to go to the moon when you first get in the ship and learn to fly, mm -hmm. it doesn't it explicitly tell you to go into your map and fast travel there. And he spent like five minutes straight just pointed at the moon trying to get there and going like absolutely nowhere and not getting close to it at all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Someone did actually spend time flying Alana, to a planet. Did that, yeah. yeah, like seven hours to fly to Pluto. And, like the closer they got, the worse Pluto looked because like the, it was a, the it image was a, just wasn't designed for it. It was a flat image. She, she a lot yeah. of years flew through Pluto and then was stuck yep. inside of Pluto. I'm reminded of the early days of uh, No Man's Sky where people didn't realize you could do like the fast. It was like kind of the the speed mode from planet to planet, so they were just flying from planet to mm -hmm. planet, and that was um, a terrible mistake. That's the game people keep bringing up because, like, I look at modern No Man's Sky and it's just like, it's like so good. Oh yeah, modern No Man's I, Sky. I can't I believe amazing. how good that game is and how little that how the fact that. What is it? Seven years later, they haven't charged a single penny, and it's like mm -hmm. nine thousand times the content. <laughs> I guess the question now is, with the reception the Starfield has gotten, do you think Bethesda is willing to put as much work into Starfield as Absolutely no. no Man's Sky? I don't think they will put the same amount of work into Starfield as they as um, as the fifth Hello release Games of Skyrim put into. I don't think like. I don't think you can compare the amount of effort that, that Bethesda is willing to put into Starfield as Hello Games put into um, No Man's Fair. Sky. I, I, not even close. They have a lot less oh. to prove, too. They have Our a readers. lot less to prove, and that's one of the big reasons, I think. Actually, you know, this is going to be a weird take. I actually think Bethesda has a lot still to prove, just because... And I think Starfield is kind of proving that, because, yeah, No Man's Sky was a disastrous flop like on no launch. man's sky was full of lies which is what hello games had to prove i mean they, absolute lies no it, it let's let's not try and i'm not i'm not uh, it for the devs I'm he straight up lied full face to the camera lied i will i will rescind the point that i was trying to make it's okay i had no it was i was going to comment on bethesda but it's all oh i mean todd i mean the thing is is that the problem with Sean is that he suffers the same problem as Molyneux does. Yep. He's yeah, describing gonna make the that game comparison. he's going to make, not the game that he's got. But he doesn't doesn't qualify any of the statements. Oh, yeah, you will be able to do this. Eventually would have been all he needed to say. But instead, it's like, will they be able to do this? Yes. On release? Yes. No. No, he should have said no at that point. All would have been forgiven if he just said no. But eventually... You know, but and it's it's the thing. He's, he's excited for what he's doing. Todd, uh... this is not a sta like industry standard of truth telling either. That's why no, I no, was, like, was no. going to make like Fallout it, it Three isn't. has four hundred endings, and it's just like a boiling yeah, but pot of piss the pro the, as a game. The problem is, is that they they lie on the edge of truth. Whereas what happened with Hello Games was like there was no truth there. There, there wasn't even an edge of the truth there. But it, no. it's it's one of these things because like yeah, you could say that that Fallout 4 had 400 endings, but it would be the same as saying that Chrono Trigger has 32. Yes, you're counting every single one of the cats as an individual ending, are you? Okay. 
I mean, technically it's true, but come on. It's like rules as written versus rules as intended kind of truth, if you know what I mean. Um, but there are people who will, who will die on the hill of, yeah, oh yeah, Chrono Trigger had like 40 endings. Like, you can't count every single individual ending where you found one other cat. That is what we're considering endings. Bethesda has... I'm not a Bethesda fanboy. I love their games. I love what they make. I think they make mm. okay games, but they also have one of the most aggressively we do no wrong fan bases in gaming. And therefore, yeah. Starfield was going to be a success no matter what because there's three million uh, yeah, people who I've... wouldn't allow it to be called bad. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people get very, like, almost personally Altish. insulted by by people pointing out things that Starfield does poorly which is like look if you don't if you don't call them when they do something wrong then they'll never get better you're not helping them by by preventing you know honest critique so i get what you what you're saying there but at the same time i with with the whole thing of hello games hello games was re trying to build uh, what should we call it? Uh, social credit with with its fans. And whereas Bethesda had already got some of that, and you know it's burning some off with dubious decisions here and there, it's still more or less in the credit, I would say. Whereas Hello Games didn't have an account yet, and its first outing was abysmal. So they started in deep, like college degree level debt on the social credit scale yeah. and so yeah a lot of what they've been doing is just getting back to the red now i watched a documentary about like some of that that comeback especially from from sean and like how he basically isolated the rest of the team from the absolute you know shit show that was the internet over you know what he'd said what he hadn't said about uh no Man's Sky, and to his credit, he literally just tanked it so that the rest of the team could just quietly work on making No Man's Sky the game that he'd originally envisioned. And there is a remarkable amount of respect due to him for that. But, it, you know... His kind of, of lesson, where, don't overpromise that hard. Yeah. Ever. Yeah, no, that, that's the thing. Is the fact that he is comparable to Peter Molyneux says it all you know that, yep. that's not where a dev wants to be hmm. i think that's the principal reason why you should not be responsible as the dev for your own games marketing these days because oh, the or at least have easier training and that's another reason why I don't give Bethesda any slack on the rope is because Sean Murray was like just a dude coming out of college. Oh, yeah. yeah, Sean and Murray had Todd no Howard media training can come at all. Out and he can just schmooze his way through, con and Pete and all of them, they can just schmooze their way through conversation because they have a reputation that backs it up and their reputation is well, like, That's helps. the thing with social credit. If you use it up enough, eventually it's gone. Like you, you, you can only bank on that for a while. And with each, you know, when it, it is like a, a credit account, you know, you, you keep making withdrawals, eventually you run out. Yeah. But were there any, because I'm, I'm going to go on, on the record here. Like, I'm, I'm kind of arguing a corner uh, where I'm not completely aware of it, because I made a point of not following any of the hype. Because you, And you've alluded to Todd making promises that... Uh, and you know, like Sean Murray level promises that that I mean, weren't true. I wouldn't know at all about those because I, I didn't follow any of the hype. Not specifically Starfield, just in Bethesda's oh, history, right. they have a they right, have right, a right, reputation of over promising and under delivering right, with almost right, every right, single right. release they've released. <laughs> the simple one I was wondering I if was there was there... anything specific about Starfield. There was also, the like not, thousand planets. That, yeah. Yeah, like, they were really okay. pushing the, like, we have a thousand planets, and... We have a thousand like, planets, and, like, 600 of them are handcrafted, and I have not found a single handcrafted planet yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wonder what... Because, see, this is the thing, is that sometimes there's... there's I like... <laughs> this is going to sound weird. I like the... the um, passionate 
overselling that Sean Murray did versus the it's not technically a lie kind of wiggle room that sometimes comes from stuff like oh yeah there's a there's 600 handcrafted plants what's their metric for handcrafted that there is a single handcrafted point of interest on the planet with sean murray you could tell he believed in it even if it wasn't yeah. true yeah with yeah, Todd well, howard you know it's marketing. the game he honestly wanted to make and honestly expected the game to be at this point well i've mentioned it i've i've, I've kind of had some heated uh, debates with some of my friends about i think at this stage no man's sky like maybe even a patch ago like uh, sorry a big expansion the last big expansion i felt that it got had gotten to the point where all of the promises that sean murray had made had been realized it um, now is the game that he was marketing back however many years ago it just took like a while to get there. while now i i i must confess like i I only dip in every couple of expansions to check how how things have changed. But uh, like the last time I jumped in was like the expansion before last, and at that point I was like, yeah, no, this this is the game that he was describing. Yeah, Atlas was way Rise, back when, you know. Atlas Rises was I think twenty twenty one, I believe, and that was like their essentially their two point Yeah, and I mm. think that was like the point where people were like, okay. Now it's only going to... Now this is where we should have been five years ago. Now it's only going to get better. Are they still going to... And Atlas Rises <laughs> led people to question, are they going to start charging for things now? And they still have not charged a single penny. And there's been 30-something yeah. expansions since then. People are still buying it. There's a new one that I mean, just came out with Starfield's release, and more people are playing <laughs> No Man's Sky right yeah. now, and it goes up every day. The Steam charts go up every day. Yeah, no, absolutely. That's the thing with... with uh, this sort of, like... Well, again, I'll come back and I know calling it social credit, it's not the best term because like that's a real world term that's kind of associated <laughs> with some shady things. But I can't think of a of another way of kind of describing it. it it's a sort of credit you're you're building up in trust and and uh, that whole thing of well, you know, if you do make a fumble, people can believe that it was an honest mistake rather than something planned kind of thing. Um but it, it does feel like, as a studio, they're laying some impressive foundation for the future. Yeah, I agree. The Their next is, big uh, project, I think they're going to be able to to reach very far with that. It depends, and even if it though, because you're going to need ages. You're going to need ages to develop yeah. whatever that is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I think, like, at this point, you, you'd almost be willing to... Oh, well, in a way, it's kind of what what early access kind of promised to be at the beginning yeah the idea that hey you know you're, you're buying into something early but you you can trust us that this is going to be amazing you know i mean we don't even know the full shape of how amazing this is going to be yet but you know if, you're just basically giving us our trust that trust now that's kind of feels like what they're building their studio to be able if to they do. just handle it exactly like how grounded was handled you know here's your early mm. access version we're going to make it bigger. I yeah. think they'll be fine. Yeah. There's been so many really good early access. And then for every good one, there's 5,000 bad ones. And yep. I have a hard time. Uh, that's the problem, though. That's the thing. And, well, I mean, early, I still, I think early access has been a great, a great model. I, I just remember it being tainted. Its reputation was tainted from like the 2013, 2014 era when it was like, I think it was still called Steam Greenlight at that point. Yeah. And it yeah. was like, it was literally yeah. creators using like a Kickstarter form of funding to get as much money from their fan base as can and then just abandon the game and I, walk away. I almost feel like you should be required to put out a full game before you ever even touch Steam Early Access. Yeah. Oh god, Marty, I forgot all of the hats. Uh, sorry, all of the faces and stuffed animals we had watching you sleep. <laughs> Oh, he is uh, Wendell moves. Fantastic. That is so brilliant. I love you it. You took Wendell out of his bed. Uh, w Wendell wanted down, I think. He's been down here since I uh, checked it out. But Wendell's Wendell's little raisin statue is still there. Well, no, no, no. Oh, well. No, no, no. I had moved it down last time, so it was in Marty's oh. bed. Oh. Oh, I, I hadn't seen that. 
It was really funny. Oh no, it was it was towards the end of the like yeah 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 it was towards the yeah, end yeah. of the last session yeah. I he moved it that. back. Oh no. Well, well, I mean you know maybe he just wasn't as warm to cuddle up to a fair stone enough. sculpture. So what are we doing? Because we've got the infected broodmother, yeah. we've got the final mixer event, and then we've got Moldork Castle. Do we have preferences? Well, if we do the final mixer event, the game is over. Okay. That's so, so that's one. the last thing? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's, we want to do Moldork first, right? Moldork would be yeah. to get the true quote-unquote ending, is we do Moldork, okay. there's another boss there, and then we do the mixer event afterwards. Infected okay. Bird Mother, I would like to try, but it requires some. How crap. about we do Moldok first, then? And then, if we can, we build up to do the Infected Brood Mother, but if we're feeling that we just don't have the time to make it in this session, we just go for the final mixer. Like, let's aim to have the final mixer done by the end of, of this sure. session. And if we can fit the Brood Mother in, yeah. How's that sound? Someone surveyed toenails. Works for me. What? It was so far was surveying uh, clover, I think, before. I was surveying clay. Oh. Because oh. I think you have to build into. Oh, well, one of you guys can bring clay if you're at the base, because I think you have to build into Moldork. Yeah, sure. You do, but you can just throw on Hauling Hero and bring a bunch of grass with you to make like half walls and make stairs that way. Yeah, but then if like a weevil sneezes on you, you drop the whole stack. Clay just goes in your pocket. <laughs> You still a bit coffee, Wanda? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm I'm gonna uh, be. Uh, what type of coffee? Uh, <laughs> the rudest kind. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the, the the rude kind of coffee. It's yeah, one of those where I'm like I'm fine for three hours, and then it's just like, oh, now you've got this like ever present tickle in the back of your throat. Enjoy, and it's like, oh no. Yeah. So like yeah, a little dude. bit ago, I needed to cough so pretty much bad, sympathy. but uh. I was fighting endless orb weavers, and it's like I need to get out of here, but they literally can will not let me leave. So I can either uh, cough on mic, which I don't want to do, try and scramble to like mute myself on multiple spots, finish the fight, run home, and then go cough in another room, and it was a mess. I should be fine, well, just so there might sorry, be one man. or two moments where I just go like AFK. If yeah, no, no you, worries at all. Absolutely no if worries. It makes you feel better. I would rather have you cough on mic than stress out and smack buttons on your keyboard and end up hitting something you don't want to. I, don't know. I, think, I think I'll be fine. We'll see. Like, I've done a decent amount of recording before I got to this point. It's just, yeah. um, I had a cough drop and it uh, had the opposite effect because reasons, I don't know. Uh, uh, I guess I can try a different cough drop. I've got like four yeah. different kinds of cough drops to cycle between. You need the anti-cough drop, not the one that makes was you Was it cough. like a... Yeah, yeah, well, that's the problem. So, so that was the thing. Uh, I started this whole mess with like... It was like a post-nasal drip and sore throat. And like the sore throat was pretty bad. And I wasn't sure if it was like COVID or not. And so I wanted to tackle the, the sore throat because it like swallowing was excruciatingly painful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so I was just downing cough drops. Not realizing that the brand I was eating... Uh, was like the one of the really sugary ones and oh. like I was reading about it afterwards and it's like oh this is the kind that gives you temporary relief and makes the problem worse yeah it makes the problem worse yeah yeah just like uh, a lot of American chapstick brands uh actually dry your lips out so you have to keep using more and more of it oh yeah yep yeah, so, I want to. I want to believe in humanity and think, ah, oh, it's just an unfortunate circumstance. Nope. But then, then there's remember. a part of me that's like, yeah, but it's American, so yeah. I remember America uh, exists. Well, I've seen a lot in the news lately about like over there. The um, is it the FDA that that is the the yep food and drug administration? That, yeah, they're trying to uh, basically like. Uh, force brands like Sudafed and stuff that are marketed to help with cold symptoms when it is straight up proven that nothing in them, their active ingredient, does not help with this. Like it's straight up, like it's rare to be able to flat out say, yeah, though this thing can be proven that it doesn't do what you're saying it does. Like just straight up doesn't do it. Well, that's but you're still, you know, marking it, marketing it to people. And uh, so I have I, not I've actually heard that about that Sudafed. Yeah, I've been following it in the news. I, 
I'll be honest, I didn't know that, but I never used Sudafed for like I use Sudafed nasal spray to help with um, uh, hay fever symptoms, and for that, it's amazing. But probably not because the drug is doing anything well, but probably because the the spray is full of acid. And it's just melting the parts of my nose that can that can cause mucus, and it's like, well, this will do. I would prefer to have no nose and never have to deal with hay fever than you know to have a normal face. It's a price I'm willing to pay. But uh, I hadn't heard about it. It was like a cold symptom thing. So yeah, I have no idea. My, uh... I will have to look into that because yeah, growing up, Sudafed was like one of the things that we would use. Oh, right, okay. And that would explain why it did nothing. Yeah, no, that, that's that's the thing. It's like, wow, okay. So, and how long have you known that this doesn't work? Why is this already not pulled off the, the shelves? That's rather bizarre, but okay. So is right, there so a way up, or do we need Penta? to build something? I brought a bunch of clay. I mean, I guess we could just build over to this lamp and then over from there. This is... Oh, no. oh, gosh, there's a lot of the little water devils, whatever they're called. Water fleas? Mm-hmm. I hate What are you up so to, Marty? Uh, I was just uh, hopping on this tree over here to get toenails. I know we need some toenails for the actual uh, embiggening cell. Ah, okay. Oh, that's fun. Oh, shit. Ow. Fighting a tiger mosquito on a leaf. Leaf has holes in it. I turn and just fall through one of the holes. Oh. Unfortunate. Surprise. There we go. Come here, you uh, nerd. Is it is it like a um a build mode like in Satisfactory with this where I can just kind of go zoop and have a whole line of foundations? Laid that down be, for me. That That's the handy one, net. Yeah, the handy net. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Oh no! Oh no! I've messed up. Better safe than sorry. Have you made mistakes? Have well, Wander came made? over here, and then I happily, gleefully, even jumped into his water flea party. I see. I mostly I mean, just I, left I imagine for you is I'm, glad for the hell. But I have no way of fighting them. Right, well, Unless I do. A little okay. Oh, they're the spiny variety. Never mind. Yep. The only weapon I have that can fight underwater is my shovel. It works great against regular water fleas. Not not so great against the spiny variety. Hey, Panther, I see you down there. Is that the door that we're trying to get into? The one that you're next to? No, that's I believe that's the exit door. Yeah, that would make sense. So we basically want to build up from here then, yeah? Yeah, we need to go, like, up, up. I yeah. just don't remember where up, up is. I've built a little ways across, expecting that this would be easy to get down to, but that is not the case. I keep thinking Mahdi's ping is Mahdi, but it's not Mahdi. It's Mahdi's ping. Nope, but I am on my way over, and I can remove my ping. I'm just going to jump down. Wahoo! Bum, 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 bum. And then you go away, go away, oh. go away. Let's see what we can Demon, find. demon fly. That is a good name for mosquitoes. I agree. Demon flies. Also known as well. I mean, horse flies. I think are also demon. Yeah, oh, horse flies and are black flies. Level. I would give the moniker. Horse flies are on another level. Uh Have any of you lived near a place with lots of horses? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Minnesota is pretty rife with horse flies and deer yeah. flies. Yeah. Not so much black there. flies. And that's, that's pretty right. close to where Pente is, too. Are there still lots of like uh, wild herds over there, then? Mm. Uh, Not in to Wisconsin, my knowledge. North Wisconsin. <clears throat> there's, 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 I wouldn't say lots, but there's, there's several there's there's quite a few wild horses still in this area but it's definitely less than it used to be oh, i'm gonna go find more clay i suppose seeing I'm as just okay. inside of the moldork and i don't know what i'm doing 
I found a bunch we get of out of here works tonight uh this branch right here I guess I am slowly building my way up right now. You can take you take it across oh, yeah, to this right. rock and then you jump up. I'm gonna go see if I can come back with like several armloads of clay. Yeah, I'm I'm realizing that I was hopelessly optimistic about the amount of clay we were gonna need. Like hopelessly. Yeah, I carry a stack on me, and it's usually enough, but this, um, a little bit more. Oh no. Am I wedged? No, I'm not. I'm fine. What is I'm a horsefly? They look like regular flies, except for they bite people, and it hurts yes. real bad. Leaves kind of I a mean, nasty they bite hole. horses, so. Yeah. Scallywag fly. Why did you do that? Well, fly, that's a bit of demon bit fly. insulting. Yes, demon fly. Horse flies are, they are a larger species slash breed of the common field fly. And they are designed to annoy horses and therefore also humans because humans love horses. Yep. And anything and they, that can annoy a horse can inherently annoy a human. Definitely annoy a human. And uh, deer flies are the same, except s slightly smaller than your common field fly, and uh, bite deer, <laughs> and also humans. And they are way worse than horse flies, but way less common, thankfully, where I'm at, so. Deer flies are on the new. They hurt worse, but horse flies don't just bite you, they also just like fly into your face over and over again and they're as big as a thumbtack, yep. so it hurts. It's actually larger than a thumbtack. I always forget yeah. how small thumbtacks are. Closer to the size of your actual, like, thumb at the horse. first knuckle. Yeah, yeah, closer to the size of an actual horse. That's why they call them horse flies. I've seen that picture yep. on that episode. Yeah. I mean, I don't feel so bad about letting the mosquitoes Ooh, hit me at least once. Because then we get a blood sack out of it. Yeah, in this True. game it's not so bad because you don't have the persistent itch that follows you. Whereas, like, my left arm oh. is just covered in mosquito bites and uh, the last couple of days I couldn't even get my arm down. Um, really? You know, that's... Well, okay. So, I couldn't put it down comfortably. Let me finish. Because I had so <laughs> many, like, kind of welty mosquito bite things that, like, uh -oh. I had to pad my table because it was so uncomfortable because of how lumpy my elbow was. I have bad reactions to mosquito bites too, so it's like uh, extra annoying. So that wasp. actually, oh, it's your wasp. Oh, that raises an interesting question in that if there wasn't any sort of like irritation afterwards, Hello. would you, what would your reaction be to like mosquitoes as a species? Would you still be fine with them like randomly coming would, onto your arm? I would and not be blood? cool with it, but I wouldn't be as annoyed. Or is like now it's like I get bit by a mosquito and I have to weigh whether or not I want to knock myself out for a day, uh, taking some Benadryl to deal with it. Oof. I'm just mad at the human species that we haven't evolved past mosquitoes yet. Yeah. <laughs> I keep reading about like projects where they just have lasers oh. that uh, can Double specifically down. kill Double mosquitoes. Oh. <gasps> And I'm oh, like, no oh, that'd way. be cool if I just had a little laser turret that would just zap all the mosquitoes in my yard. I would love a laser turret in my yard. And not yeah. just for mosquitoes, but also just for, you know, to have a laser turret. Yeah. That would be very oh, cool. Oh, Marty, you. I found a superstar. I found a. I don't know if I actually gave us enough room to get. We have to get past this little lip. Uh, I might uh, have to do it. If you I do a little hop, Divity. I am inside. I'm going somewhere no, else. No, I don't think you. I don't think you are That's inside. We have to be outside. Like, no, 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 no. Lip. Yeah, I'm outside think, the thing. I'm just wandering around inside where I'm yeah, I think assuming I shouldn't side. be. But yeah, I think you're in my quartzite cave that I was in. Marty, you gotta come over here. No, I'm. I'm building us a, a stairway up. Building modified there, by someone there, else. I assure a, you, it wasn't. There's a I right where, where, where I'm standing. All we need is like a little, little, little thingy that we can get up on there. Yeah. We just need to... Why did I throw that? Huh? Ah! 
Why can I not? Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, let me let me move this real quick. I'm just gonna orient it slightly differently. I... All right. I'm coming with like a couple hundred clay. So. Uh, oh, that'll be plenty for what we need. Oh God. Okay. We're just gonna move this over here. Could you do like Baldur's Gate it into my inventory? Just... <laughs> I wish he could. I approve. I, I approve of this I just... reference. I... Speaking of games that I've only thought about since playing Starfield, is like, man, I want to play. I wish Sarah w Morgan was as good as any companion in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Come on, Earth. Why can I not stop? I I need to. Okay, th thank you. Baldur's so I... Gate companions are like uncommonly good. They're as good uh, as yeah. uh, they're better than some other games' main characters. Yes. Oh okay. yeah. Very much so. Here we go. There, there are some vendors that I've talked to three times in Baldur's Gate that are better than some other game's main characters. I, okay. Uh, oh, I should bring this. You guys ever play the Dragon Quest games? How do you feel about the silent protagonist in those? I... Yeah, I've never really partaken in the argument of, or in the debate over whether silent protagonists are good or not. Because I usually don't care too much what my character says, because I just, as long as there's like dialogue options, I can kind of roleplay to that form. But I actually think the way Dragon Quest, especially Origins, I think it did it pretty well. Ha! I am here! Huzzah! The, the issue with voice protagonists, if it's not somebody like a Geralt of Rivia, who has like. He's like a, an actual, like, written character, is that some role-playing games, especially ones where you choose your voice, uh, Baldur's Gate being one of those, uh, this it never really quite feels like myself. Like, I'd rather have a silent protagonist than, like, a Saints Row, this guy's annoying but I'm playing as him type of thing. Hmm. I never found my character particularly annoying in Saints Row, but well, I guess yeah. maybe I never really played a whole lot of the plot. That was the game that I would like get through the intro and be like, okay, that was fine. And then... Then it was Pimp My Ride. Yeah. 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 We've all played it. We know <laughs> how to go. We know how to play it. Uh... I've heard it's like the one of the ending missions is really good and that I the should first, probably go out of my way for it. But uh, the first and second Saints Rose are phenomenal games. Third one the is first one? good. The first and second one. I, I've heard great things about the second one. I know the third one was kind of fun meme that doesn't hold up too well, but I've never heard praise for the first. When the first one came, for the time it came out, I would say it was very, very good. Because it came, I think Saints Row 1 came out alongside, did it come out outside along GTA 4? Um, I'm afraid or I don't right recall. near the release of that? I think so. But, Where uh, are we? Going. Two, two is, place. I am not going the right way. I'm going to get a milk molar that I saw way earlier and really want to okay. grab. I think we go actually like into the castle. Yeah, the, there like, used mouth to be one. like a trap door. Yeah. Oh, like a... I missed that. Oh, wait a second. I think we might actually have to have Wendell with us. Really? I think so. I can go back and grab him. We'll find out. Because ah! oh! the actual, yeah, the actual way down is oh. this this hole here. Yoink. This is why I always carry a dandelion top. Oh no! I fell to <laughs> my doom. Hey, but I'm here now. Good news. Um, let's go down you can you... Lose everyone. Yeah. Yeah. I've got your hoops. I've got your hoops. Yeah, there is nothing down here. Oh, no, there is. Oh, there is definitely something down here. I'm at the lab. This I mean, there's... My... Oh, it's Wendell. Yeah. He's my here. Suspicion... Oh, he teleported? Oh, my god. Yeah, goodness. he just warped to us. Woohoo! I was about to I go get him. I just needed to move near the lab. 
You gave up on our potato man too soon, Mortimer. I, I didn't expect him to teleport. He, he's been telefragging Wander the whole game. That's true, actually. Yeah. Classic Schmechter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got him to start talking. <laughs> Are you going through the door down the bottom? Or next to the door? No. He's just, he's just chatting. Okay, let's get Burgle on the line. Hello? That was not as many divots as you needed to push. Security door for me. I'm sending you the coordinates now. Oh, Dr. Tully, I, uh, at once. Entering Vulcan protocol mode. Decoding manual password reset at ominous terminal. K321B. Stand by. Hacking. Hacking. Hack still hacking. Perhaps if you had replaced that grilling function with something more useful, we would not be waiting Ooh, all day. I found a door. I'm in. User I pushed name. a button Schmecter under. Schmecter under. Schmecter oh. Schmecter Schmecter <laughs> Mechder, the director. Your efficiency never ceases to amaze. I opened the door that was in the pond. Oh, no. Wanda, contain yourself. Look, I'm just bringing some spice. Ooh. Orc receivers. Got a bunch of them. Yeah. Got some Supreme Quartzite shards, Supreme them. Marble shards. I opened the door that was at the uh, water. Oh, there's a moldy there. note here. Oh, moldy. read it. Uh, oh, oh, it's not an actual. It's not a. It's the Moldock figurine. It's the oh, recipe the to summon the infected brood mother. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I just rogue. discovered Level the Moldock figurine. We got another guy that can watch Marty sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Marty's gonna have the most secure and absolutely not nightmare fueled sleep ever. Look at all these guys in their pods. Bio balls. Hmm. This looks yeah, very cool. reminiscent of like a uh, cabin in the woods. This looks boss fighty. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? What a good, good movie. <laughs> yeah. It what was a good, yeah, What I a agree. good second half of a movie. <laughs> I should have corrected myself. Uh, I mean, I still enjoyed the first I, half as I, the I actually enjoyed, that it was. Yeah, I enjoyed the first part, and I especially <laughs> like the whole thing of explaining why in horror movies they are always so ridiculously stupid. Yeah, it's like I I thought that was that was inspired myself. Right, what kind of boss is this going to be? Do we need to I, cough our if you walk up to it? The you button has Schmecker. a health bar for Director Schmechter. Okay, but I'm I'm observing. Uh, I'm observing. These I, look like yeah. particle beams. That are I'm seeing a lot of yeah. laser turret and flamethrower looking things. Yeah, possibly I'm, I'm, on I'm rails. Seeing, I'm seeing a big display over here that is almost certainly going to be some angry dude, and all of these doors over here letting things in. Oh no! It's dancing are we equipped for this? Are we equipped I'm, for this? I don't know. I'm okay. Yes. Oh. There he is. Director Spectre for Smash. Pulling the strings from behind the scenes as always, Dalton. You gutless coward. Take that, Dalton. He first named him. Why did he need this many monitors of himself? He's a streamer. I... <laughs> I don't fair fair I don't yeah, think I would want to take that one on the chin fair but your work at least I'm not experimenting on children oh but isn't that just what you've been doing hiding in your little garden and using these children to fight your battles for you because you never fight them yourself cut the villain voice how did I know he was gonna enunciate God and like that? Yeah. I predicted that. Before I fired you, look at you now. You're nothing. Just a shriveled, sad raisin. 
Okay, so now we've got we've got the Baldur's Gate one through four options. Option four is just bracket attack bracket. <laughs> that is one hell of an overbite he has. Option five is surround by oil barrels, then attack. Mm. Yeah. No, you gotta do it in style. You surround him with oil barrels, and then you teleport arrow yourself away, and then you smoke powder arrow the barrels. Clever. What I would do in the previous games is I just had one character that was that would absorb fire damage. Mm. Shrinking inanimate objects will change the world, no doubt. The shipping industry alone will never be the same. Get him. That was the extent of Wendell's imagination. Yeah. Imagine if you hit all of the monitors with arrows, he started at half HP. But people, the government, despite what my former Devs. colleague might have told you, it was Oh no, they don't even stick in. Voice. Rude. I don't know many monitors that could get splinters, and I don't really want my monitors to get splinters. I mean, I it feel like, like any, like, plasma screen could technically get splinters. Just not the old glass front CRTs. Hmm. Couple that with the intense hormonal growth, and I was pleased to learn that you are not only resistant, but immune to said syndrome. Immune. Once that connection was made, what choice did I have? You did find a cure because of the children you abducted. Of course. I'm not a failure like you, Wendell. Yes, I abducted those children. I admit it freely. Not that anyone will ever know. I'm recording this, actually. <laughs> Vector, you're live on Twitch right now. You're a streamer with 12 monitors. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, 13 actually. He'd get a 30 day ban. The respect for Director Dalton Schmechter. I don't, I don't like you, guy. But in the end, my little rat, yes, it is always about the money. No one will sponsor your spirit of invention without raw profit. A simple raw science. Something. Body. Are you okay? Yeah. I think so. Alright, I'm attacking him. <laughs> we attack? Oh. Stay right there and this will all be over before you know it. Holy hell car. I'm gonna be back here. Oh my lord. Okay, peeping him, he's weak to busting and sour. Oh, okay, switching to Sour Arrow. Ow. Oh, my, my... Get him, man! Sword. Where's my Get sword? him, Wendell. Ah! It's the first time I've thrown a weapon in this game. Welcome to the club. It is unpleasant here. It is unpleasant. I immediately did it again. <laughs> yeah, this is Arena. Oh. You're shooting balls from those corners. Ah! Right, sour away! Ow, oh, that's gonna hurt. That is one heck of a health bar. It is a quite a big health bar, isn't it? That's right, you come back here so I can shoot you a little bit easier. I think I need to, like, no, switch to a ranged weapon. Side lasers. Nope, same ah, side ball. Uh, yep. I should just be using my sour rusty. Ow, oh, weavers! Oh, yeah. That's all right. The DPS boys are just focusing yeah, him. Get him, man. <laughs> Why are he stuck underneath him? Oh, there he goes. Did he just say that tickles? He, he, he. Uh-oh. So I many mans. Be surprised. Get him. I don't even know what mutations I've got, really. Oh, now it's the side lasers. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh, oh I dislike those. Man, They're moving open. lasers. That's cheating. 
I am safe in the corner, it appears. Yeah, I'm just gonna hang out here. I might go yeah. find my crossbow. Oh, wait, no, I don't have any arrows left. I have your oh, arrows. Oh, I parried your ball, boy. Ow. I'm getting oh, those lasers hurt. All I'm those only lasers going with really the... do hurt my... <laughs> yep. Oh, wow. they stopped. Everyone get him. I don't know how many more arrows I have, honestly, but... I mean, you could go pick them up. No, no, I mean uh, sour arrows. Oh. Oh, God. The lasers are back. Side lasers. Oh, my, my wasp. Why? Oh, I think what? he's... Is he doing both? No. You stand no chance, buddy. Oh, now he's doing both. Ow. Oh, that's not good. Ow. This oh, now is there's lasers on very the undead. side, too, over here. <laughs> Gotcha, you scallywag! 1,000 raw science! Wait, the lasers aren't turning off. Turn off the lasers! Corporate kickback. Okay, that's pretty cool. How do we no, got this battle I, I hate that they're called Orc Weaver Juniors. What are they called? They're called Orc Weaver Juniors. Oh, no. No. Oh. No. <laughs> uh, Wait, did these... Oh, these, these were the turds shooting the balls, weren't they? Mm. Those were the ones that were shooting the balls and the ones Where did that Wendell go? Red. Uh, he teleported Wait, back on. no idea. Wait, these lasers had a health bar? What? What? They have a health bar. Oh, that's Do annoying. They? I wish we could have seen that. They're like all almost dead. Or are they hitting each other, maybe? I what? don't see a health bar on them, but... Uh, if you walk I kind up of and, like, do. If you walk up and put your cursor on it, right above your, your toolbar, it should, like, a little... At least it does for me. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dang it. Was I wearing my headlamp for that? that? I was. Yeah, Italian against the, the weak. Blocking enemy attacks enables your own attacks to steal health. Wow. That's oh, pretty good. That's a mutation that's for me. Corporate kickback, yeah. That is definitely a good one for our melee group. So, wait, was that... Were we supposed to block talk to Wendell again? Where did oh, Wendell go? Were we? I don't know. He's outside. Uh, I, I think I he's fallen through the I think universe. Wendell went home. I don't yeah, see I him, don't him looking towards... Oh, wait. where? Why don't I see the house? Oh, there it is. He's all the way down the, the bottom house? somewhere. Where are we meant to go? Uh, Where's the way I, out? Wasn't there another door? I opened up the, uh, yeah, I opened up the door to the, like, swamp. It's up the branch. It's the, the oh. door up on the wall with the cable going to it. Right, right, right. That's the one that just goes ah. up to the, the pond. Right. Wait, Wendell's still down there. Yeah, he is. He's, but he's below. I think he, did he fell through the floor. through the floor. Yeah, I think he did. Well, that's not good. Uh, Wendell. how do we interact with Wendell now, then? Wendell. Does someone have a way of summoning Wendell? Wendell, you can wave a billy dog. Oh, he's right here. Hello, Wendell. What should we do now, Wendell? We need to mix the embiggening cocktail at the Well, that's pretty obvious. But what about the whole thing with Schmecta? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, mostly revenge. I just want to get you home, and then I will do what I can to try to repair the things that have been broken. Like your pride. Aww. Well, that's quite a lot. Could you be more specific? No. Go away. Oh, rude. I don't want to talk to man. Well, that was certainly an interesting fight. Yeah, I, uh, I'm curious to see what it's like on WoW. Uh, I imagine it's not just uh, the hardest difficulty. Oh, right, right, right. I'd assume those I've... lasers are instant death. I would imagine either, yeah, I mean, the green ones on this difficulty were... It hurt. Pretty insane. That was the only, like, real source of damage, though, so maybe not too bad? Oh, I, 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 thanks to the uh, 
the normal like the arc robots and then the assistant manager i'm pretty decent at just like higher pairing away the like floating blue ones and they're just really not a threat but the, the them green lasers were oh my God. not not fun yeah i'm very glad that the corner was basically safe from them well we've got time do we want to try and fight the infected brood mother I think we should. How many of the heads do we have left, or are we going to have to fight every boss? Because you I, need a head from every other boss in order to summon it. We've only fought the wasp once, and I don't remember if we used the head or not. For Did we have to use gear. the head for his barred helmet? Usually the oh. head is used for the helmets. Don't remember. Well, let's and go I back know and take we stock used... of what we've got in the base. I know we used the one from the Hedge Broodmother to make the mask, right? But I don't know if we have more... Well, let's just go back. We'll take stock, and then we'll decide if we do have. Uh, I will any say infantry. we yeah. probably all want fresh weapons for the infected broodmother because it's like the only thing she's not resistant to. Okay. And the explosion trinket. We should all be wearing oh. that as well. Yeah. Oof. Oh no! The wrong, wrong? zip line. <laughs> oh, you take took the lower one. Yeah. That's yeah. Welcome to Mosquito City. Give the aphid a little break in the middle. Okay, let's go find out how many hairs we have, which ones we're missing, and if we're not missing too many, we can we can do that. I think. Oh yeah. Wahoo. Yeah. Wow. I really don't feel that this little aphid is is galloping fast enough for it to have the effect of my legs trailing behind me on the zip line. It's just got really mighty legs. Each stride is like absolutely massive compared to what you would expect. And also apparently it's got a lot of mass to be able to Yeah. Actually like propel us. Yeah, that is a that is actually the T T three aphid, the neutron aphid. You just can't find them normally. <laughs> neutron aphids. <laughs> I'm so thirsty, and all these balls are on the ground. I don't know which one's real. I smack. I know. I just look at the the uh, web. And just start mashing. Eventually, one of them works. I found one. All right, then. Let's uh, drop things off. Tunk. Okay. So, Moldy Hoagie, we need one wasp queen head. Oh. I got a gunpowder clump. Don't know where the heck I put that. Uh, I think they're used for the explosive. For the... I don't know what else they're used arrows. for. Are they used in bomb arrows? I believe so. Gotcha. I need to clear up my inventory. It's full of absolute nonsense. I'm just sticking everything into random because I'm going to be one of those people. Yeah. Be one of those people. Every survival crafting game has a dump chest. Yep. And if it doesn't, it should. That's why we need to go even further beyond and have a not just a deposit to nearby storage, but also a sort to nearby storages from within a container. Mm. Why are you speaking my language? I love speaking the language of quality of life. It's the only language I know. I just want that. Oh, what was the uh, massive chest in Dragon Quest Builders 2 that you could just access from oh. anywhere? I just want yeah, that thing back. I forget what. <laughs> yes, that was amazing. You're really on a Dragon Quest build. Uh, well, a Dragon Quest nostalgia trip right I, now, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, I I have two I things mean, about fair, Dragon Quest. I absolutely despise the protagonist from Eleven, and I love Dragon Quest Builders and anything about it. Dragon Quest Builders is such a comfy, it's fun so game good. to play. Yeah. I'm sad though because we might never get another, and that that sucks. Really? The uh, right. the guy who was in charge of it 
doesn't work at Square Enix anymore. Oh no. And so unless they like put somebody else to the task, uh who knows if we'll get another one, and that's slightly sad. Yeah. I'm trying to decide if I want Wasp Greaves or not. What's the um like the upgrade version of Wasp Greaves? Oh, like what's the sleek? Yeah. Well, it's, it should be the same as whatever your chess piece is. Oh, okay. I'll have a look at my chess piece then. Isn't uh, Infected Broodmother also, like, super immune to poison? Am I going to have a lot of trouble? Uh, I have no idea. I just know she's weak to... Weak to... I was going to say weak to frost. A Baldur's man. She's uh weak to fresh. And then... uh does a crap ton of Okay, yeah, she's damage. heavily resistant to poison, takes 90% less damage. Also immune to venom, so... Wait, like, completely immune? immune. Yep, completely immune to venom and gas. Well, that's not great. Guess I should get a different hat then. So many, well, so many I gloves. think it makes sense for me to stick with the Bard Tudor. And I'm going to pick up the Wasp Greaves since they seem to give me a charge shot refund. Shooting a charge shot has a chance to make your uncharged shots refund their stamina for a brief time, so just plinking off arrows every which way. Knock, no many. So many. It is nice to be at the end of the game where you've got so many resources, you can just pick things to, to try. Yep. That's genuinely a really nice feeling. We have 57 mighty globs. Oh, yeah. We are slowly but surely making the band Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. Uh... Hello, Mr. Bombardier Beetle. Is that your rock? All right. Well, bye then. It's trying to be nice. Could kill you. Uh, we got some repair glue in our glue drums. Uh, I would like to build a comfy. Oh, no, he can't look inside of the building. You know what? He can. Mm -hmm. I'm going to find a way to do this. It's going to look ugly, but I'm going to find a way. I'm committed to the bit. Was there any... Uh, was there a, a specific sleek effect on the bard's bow? Uh, you can't sleek weapons. Oh, you can't sleek weapons, so it's just... Yeah, it's you, just you elements. Give them a... Right, yeah. Yeah, and you can't do right. elements on ranged either, because it's all in the arrows. Right, so it is literally just the mighty is the only thing you can do. Okay, that's not too bad then. All right. Oh, I am now about as well set up for this as I can be. I guess I'm just gonna wear the mask of the mother demon anyway, because I can't find a better helmet. Oh no. my god, that is massive. No. Hold on. What's wrong, there Ben? Must, there no. must be a, there no. must be a way. <laughs> I'm committed to the bit. I'm just so curious. I am also very curious. You could put it outside. <gasps> right. Wait, oh. I saw it. It was blue for a second. I saw it very there. briefly, yeah. <laughs> we need a we need an arch or a doorway. Wait. Just an arch would do. No 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 no. Here, let me let me see. Uh unsupport unsupported. <laughs> you said that as if you were disgusted. Wait, How wait, wait, wait. Dare. 
We just do like this. Because you could okay. just. Wait, guys. Well. Oh no. <laughs> okay, that's that. That wins. That wins. Yeah, everything. <laughs> that wins everything. <laughs> oh wow. We need some n nice mood lighting in here now, and and a bunch of stuff. Ah. Oh, dude, put a put a pair of like torches in his hands. <gasps> yeah, I can't pick that brick up. Let's try that. Uh, it's unsupported. Oh, should be able to make it work. Come on, I know you can do this game. I. Uh, Wait, yeah, there, there. Go. Cool. I know we keep talking about it, but more games need like Luigi's Mansion looting. Hmm. I've not, never actually played Luigi's Mansion. So you'll have to explain to me. Just, what you just mean. like vacuum. You just like hold down a button and you just suck the loot that's on the ground into you. Aha, uh -huh. right, okay, yeah. I'm very much on board with that. As a uh, paid up member of the Loot Goblins Union, I feel this is desperately needed. Like, we're so close. We're so close to making a perfect game, gaming industry. <laughs> yeah. I need to go and drink. No water filtration tablets needed. There we go. All right. So, what are we doing then in terms of the heads? I I've made a wasp burger. Oh. oh, by the way, what was the um, element that the infected broodmother is not resistant to? Mint fresh. Yeah, fair. fresh. Am I able to make fresh arrows? I am. Marvelous. And if we're going to go fresh on our weapons, it's going to take a lot of mint because there's three of us that need well, potentially we melee Wander, weapons. Wander and I have the mint mace. There we're oh, gotcha. out, so. I have filled my inventory with mint arrows. What did you make your uh, toenail scimitar? Uh, spicy. Ah. So I have the salty axe, the spicy sword, and the mint mace. I can cover all, all weaknesses. Oh, well, there's a... Little brick right there. This right now. So I guess I'm oh. the only one that's going to need a minty fresh weapon. You could build a mint base. I could. I feel like just making like a either a dagger or something that attacks fast fits better with like everything else that I've built so far. Heck, even just like a, another toenail scimitar that's fresh would probably be really good. That would be very, very good, yeah. But we, the problem how is many, how many toenails do we have? I have four on me. I don't know how many we have at home, but the problem is we also need five for the final um embiggening cell. Ooh, okay. Where the heck is it in Fuge? Is what? I do, I quick deposited the boss summon item and I don't know where it went. <laughs> Which boss are we going to right now? A wasp. The wasp. Okay, I'll start heading out there. Is there anyone else on the way there? Marty is... Attempting. Tony I'm in the way. undershed. I was looking for stuff, and I also oh, yeah. grabbed a milk molar. Marty, before we leave, you should uh, check out your bedroom. I can only imagine. Oh, no, you can't. God. The main problem is I came to the undershed without a torch, and I am so blind. Oh, I you're yeah, there? Well, then. Yeah, that's going to be a long way for him to come back. I, you know what? Yeah, we need to take not the, that bad. Let, let's take the wasp boss on, and then Modi can uh, yeah. the, the, the victory celebration. Yeah. I, I do not mind that in the slightest. It does scale depending on how many people are near it, and not how many people have joined. So it's not going to be... Oh, he's back by a burgle. Dude, he's got a mind of his own now. He's just everywhere. Do we have an easier way over to the wasp? Or is it just a case of... Go over to the shed. Free mustaches and then Free run. Mustaches. Free mustaches. Free mustaches and then just run over. Yeah. 
Wahoo! I don't have much healing, but I could probably make it to the Wasp Queen by the time you guys get there. I Oh, that's a good point. I got beefy uh, Waspidote. That's the only thing I have. You might want to turn around and grab some... I've got heal basses as well, but that's it. Here, I'm just going to go make a bunch of smoothies since I'm the closest to home. I'll just bring them back. I'm at home. Oh, oh Penta's at home. Cool. Penta, you want to yeah, just... You, could... you just want to jamba us up? Yeah. I'm jambaing. I'm juicing. <sighs> it is such a jamba. regional thing. Hmm. Jamba juice? Yeah. Yeah, it does not exist yeah, on the I East believe. Coast. What about, uh, what's the other one? Juice and Java. Nope. There's, like, no smoothie places on East Coast US. Like, franchised ones, at least? Not that I know of. Like, you can get wow. a smoothie from, like, Starbucks, but it ain't the same. It's just not the same. It should have been me. I should put on my uh, aphids of possession, shouldn't I? Safer now. I remember to take him off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it when Pete says, I'm feeling a little safer. It's like, really? You've just massively downgraded your gear. You might be faster, but you are not safer, my dude. I promise you. I love watching Penta's little icon climbing the tower. Just slowly climbing up. I can't see the tower. Oh. I can just see Penta climbing it. Penta, you got the boss food, right? I do have the boss food. Okay, good. Okay. Are we, we going we to sleep, sleep before? Yeah. Say, yeah. Sleep at free yeah. stashes? Yeah, I think we should. Hey, I'm going to fall asleep standing up. Um, I think I have everything on me to make one real quick. Yeah, I think so. Oh, no. Wasp oh no! Be gone. That's fine. And Despite their hi. proximity to the zip line, they haven't hit any of us yet. I'm kind of hoping they yeah. never do, but I'm also kind of hoping it, they hit one person right before we're done. Like we finish the game, we go back for one last hot tub, and it just kills me <laughs> on the zip line. I don't know. Well, it those... probably wouldn't be me because as long as I don't attack a wasp, they don't perceive me as a threat. Wendell straight up is not at the oak tree by Burgle. He's still just down in Schmechter's I know, bathroom. he's just in Schmechter's bathroom. Yeah. I was surprised there wasn't more, like, story stuff about all of that. Like, I was really yeah. surprised that it just was like, oh, yeah, you're cured now. It's like, how? What? I, no I no. was kind of hoping, like, a raisin Schmechter would just come pouring out of the machine after the fact. Me as too. a like, you know, this... This guy was no better than uh, than Wendell, despite his claims Boys. otherwise. Yep. Uh, doop. Doop. Fungus Pacho. Fungus Pacho. Oh, I well, forgot I food. I know. I, I'm, 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 I'm dropping stuff for you guys. Oh. Yeah, wonder, this one is for you. Thunk. Boss. And soon. Drop. Drop. I'm cool. And these are for Wander. Because I think you said you have some waspidotes as well. Yeah. Yeah, I've got two uh, waspidotes. And then... All right, guys. Buzz on the rocks. Nice. I do want to see how this looks. Let's see what happens. <laughs> uh... Oh, that was funny to watch. <laughs> Take your pick. Okay. I think uh, Madi needed yeah. some. Madi will be. Madi can. What do I have? Smoothies? Smoothies. Oh, I thought you guys were running into that without me. Oh. Well, then grab Why would we leave you then. behind? Okay. Yeah, I was just giving the uh, extra auxiliary chip to our boy Burgle. Aha! Am I grabbing the rest of these? Because I got plenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah All right. Good. I've got loads in my inventory now. Well, do we want to get a head start? It's not like Madi's missing out. Oh, perfect timing, by the way. I'm buying this immediately. Well, a Ferrari? No, the mutation oh, dissection yeah. expert. 
that's what it's, was in the chip ooh. that we hadn't turned in. It's it's okay. It's a little, I, I I don't like that that is at the end of the game though. What's it do? It's it makes uh, looting from uh, enemies more. It makes looting from like creatures better. Oh, so you, yeah, like you it's... you roll better dice on like what you get from creatures. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. I guess and it's I guess... there to help you grind it's... if there's stuff you want to do at the end. Yeah, like the post game stuff. It's, it's, it's fairly yeah. end game, but can't you get it basically right after you finish the um? Oh no, you have to kill Mant first, don't you? You have to you have to do at least the undershed. Which yeah. theoretically you could you could make it through the entire story of the game in like an hour if you really you know, just knew what you were doing and tried. Say and then just spend the rest of the game like bossing and exploring and Are we okay with me duplicating some toenails so I can make a scimitar? Yeah, go, go for, for it. it. Ow. My my build has been done for what three four sessions now. Yeah, I, I would. No I mean, ownership over science. I still I still like my build. It's just specifically for this fight. I can't apparently use poison, which is the one thing I've built into this entire time. It did good against Schmechter. He's technically the final boss. It didn't. So the problem is I could never poison him. So that's why I just used my spear instead. Oh, I was poisoning him. You can't poison the robots. You you can do the infection effects though. No, there was this the um infection from the toenail scimitar, which is not it's different. What does it do, Penta? Uh, like lowers defense. So, uh, oh yeah, that was infection, not poison. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, because all the robots. The snake face. That's right. All the robots are immune to poison, and I had trouble with that when we did that other, the the first lab that was all robots. Hmm. Other than that, though, I've really enjoyed it. And on the bosses that aren't completely immune to poison, it seems very strong. Okay, I have made it over here. Gonna switch out my aphid slippers. Oh, oh no. we got ah. one chasing you. Go away. And it's left. Or it's hey, kinda. trying. Kind of. it's, it's considering leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wasp pathfinding is not the not the best now here's the question is it gonna aggro if we fight the uh brood mother or the hive queen i don't know oh i deposited all my arrows I, oh, well i think when you start the boss fight the entrance closes behind you all right i am drinking a human food and my fungus uh, i will do the same <laughs> I enjoy drinking human food. Right, let me know when you're ready. I push button. I am good. Uh, I am good. Yes, go. It's closed. It's the wasp is still here. Yeah, he's he's just doing a thing. But yeah, it looks like he's just going to be doing his thing. <laughs> Come here, uh -huh. wasp. Oof. Ow. Your Majesty, will you please stop attacking me? I feel targeted. Alright, ads. Ah. Okay, this is bad. Oh, wow, I went down, yeah. I was not prepared for the amount of damage I took. Sec. I'm good, it's still got 20 seconds. Heal bosses. Be careful though, they do heal bosses. Did you just... Oh no. Um, okay, I'm stuck in my inventory. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh my lord. There's an awful lot of nonsense going on there, I must say.
Ouchie. I'm back. I cannot hit you at range. I have put a small mace. Uh oh. He's down on the ground. So before we loot her, we should probably make sure we throw on Dissection Master. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. I'm just trying to keep my aim on it. How do you charge a bow, by the way? Is it just a sake, uh, case of fully drawing it? <laughs> yeah, I, I think, think you so. just click and hold. Yeah. Cool. Just wanted to make sure that I'm actually getting the most out of my bardic stuff. Oh, it's rude. For what it's worth, Metal. I think that bard bow is keeping us, like, very healed. Yeah, it should be turning on bardic harmony if it's working. I, and also I'm stacking debuffs on the enemy. Healing. Oh, that I'm very, very happy. That is what it's meant to be doing. At least our wasp friend is still just hanging out. Also, it should be <laughs> stacking just random debuffs on the wasp constantly. Yeah. Looks like it. Bye-bye. There she goes. Okay. Dissection Someone want to do the dissection expert thing while I pick up? Oh, the our wasp buddy died. But no, two, two <laughs> reasons for no. One, no, because he died, and two, because I was using my non-combat stuff. But we won, so it doesn't matter. Hooray! You know, Basically, you were fighting the wasp queen on challenge. Mode. I got, I got ten chunks because of that. Nice. Ten chunks ahead and two wings. Very nice. Oh. I think we only needed the head, but yeah. Was there any other heads that we needed? Uh, no. no. No, we're oh, good. Oh, wow, okay. That's amazing. Yeah, we, we can make, we, we, we didn't use the mantis head. Yeah. I considered it, but why? I'm not going for a crit build. It just oh, looks shit. really cool. Yeah. But I also know that I can't see my own mask, so why do I need to look cool? I'm not showing off. Are you coming oh, through now? You guys, uh, I think I'm still the only first, uh, the only third person player here. I yeah, forgot I really you could change. <laughs> do you play Starfield in third person as well? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> you ever He's tried to ask. pick up a? You ever tried to pick up a foam cup and and fall out with third person camera? No, no, no. I have not. That game is not designed for keyboard and mouse. It is designed for an Xbox. But I can't shoot a gun on a controller. I just refuse to do that. This is not a thing I can do. Okay, so where to now? Do we need to go back and craft something? Or do yeah, we... We, gotta, we gotta bake the hoagie. We gotta bake the hoagie, okay. I would. I don't know if I would ever bake a hoagie. Maybe I would. You know what a hoagie is? Yeah. What is a hoagie to you, then? It is a <laughs> sandwich that is primarily focused on breading versus toppings. Yeah. Interesting. In Scotland, a hoagie is a kebab. So kebab meat, lamb typically, but maybe chicken. Oh, oh I want a kebab. Wrapped around <laughs> um, chips. So, like, you know... Um, Chunky fry fries, mm. chips, so British chips, covered in cheese, wrapped in a uh, naan bread, oh. or just a, a plain old wrap, depending on where you go. Hey, Vac, could you and Orbital like start the Wholesome Verse LLC and figure out immigration so we can come like stay in <laughs> Scotland for a while? <laughs> <laughs> Fallen in love with the food. I uh, I don't hate American food, but I've been here for 33 years. I can do with a change of scenery again. Yeah, change of scenery. It's always, always good to experience the world. Oh, wow. I completely did not aim for free mustaches. That was silly of me. I better re-target. Were you following me again? I... Uh, <laughs> 
If I said no, would you believe me? No. Then yes. Because <laughs> I also went the wrong way, and I was like, he's following me again, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, was just, I was just running you've diagonal warned me to every so many lady. Times. Every ladybird I saw, I just kept moving further to the right. <laughs> I was like, eventually I'll get where I want to go. I hate to be that guy, by the way, about the whole weather thing, but oh my god, it's so hot in Scotland right now. Where, where I am you at melting. Right now? Like, temperature wise. Uh, Give me a second, and I will tell you. Whoop. Take care. Right, um. Temperature Are you wise. like 30? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, okay. it's, it's hot for Britain. So it's like, uh, it feels like 24 at okay, night right now not... on September 10th, which that's is like, still very warm in that area. Yeah, it is wild. Because we're, we're. My door is open, everything is, is open. But obviously, I've, you know, I've got a chonky high powered PC. So it's, you know, basically being a, a space heater right now. Does it ever get over? I mean, I, sh I shouldn't say does it ever, because it probably does, but does it ever get over like 30C where you're at? Occasionally. Occasionally? Very okay. rarely in summer. Because cause getting, because that area, I've I, I've heard, I know like family and friends that have lived over there, and they're like, occasionally it pushes like 95, 96 Fahrenheit, and I'm like, that's ridiculous because you're so far north, <laughs> but. Yeah, it'll, it'll occasionally peak over 30, like a really, really hot summer will be like 32, 33. Um, but the so moment it hits dumb. 30, that's when you start getting like the news, putting out uh, warnings <laughs> to check yeah. on your neighbors and make sure they're not dead and stuff. Make sure they're hydrated. And... <laughs> I mean... Oh, gosh. If I wanted to get a Scottish hoagie in the US, I would have to drive... Let me... Seven hours. What? Y'all. Okay, but now you, is it worth it? Oh, well, considering one of them's in Pittsburgh, yeah. Ooh, Pittsburgh is good food. I, I really like Pittsburgh. I, I, I joke about yeah. moving there, uh, but I would like to visit more often because their food is incredible. That is, PNC, PNC Park is probably, that's the home of the Pirates baseball team. That is my, yep. I think my second most visited uh, baseball stadium and it's a I nice baseball Pittsburgh. stadium. I love, I love Pittsburgh. It's right up. Have you been back right to your lake. bedroom yet? Yes, I have. Uh, I really liked how the the weird glow stocks uh, just seem like part of the new. Uh, well, <laughs> it is glorious. I love how there's just gum at the at the back to show that it that's how it's sticking up. Mm -hmm. It that's makes sense. Fantastic. It, it has, has to make it sense. Does. Absolutely makes sense. It's glorious. It was a lot smaller when I picked it up. It was basically hidden behind a, like a microscope. So the fact that it has grown that large <laughs> since is uh, suspicious. But yeah, it's very it's very like uh, I just looked at Scottish hoagie and it's very. Uh... Very kebab, yeah, but it's it's like mm -hmm. it's like it's like kebab, but hooked up with like an enchilada for a night. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it, very, it is it very, is very. It is good it food, like but you know that you cannot eat many of them in any like period, you know, appreciable period of time. You're, you're limited. Yeah, you have to appreciate those hoagies. There's a restaurant near here that. Uh, sells them it's a corned beef place and uh mm. so they have one on their menu and i was like all right just out of curiosity let me look at it and it was like it was like 13 1350 which isn't bad uh for like an eight inch like sub uh mm -hmm. and it was 1450 calories and i'm like that's actually lower than i thought yeah <laughs> especially for corned beef that's lower than i thought because of the salt content and like Hoagies are typically, but I guess the the Scottish hoagie is not. It's less bread forward. It's more. Yes, much less bread forward. forward. Especially if you're going for, like, if it's a naan that it's wrapped in. Typically, those like you'll have like a regular size hoagie, which will just be a like a, a wrap. Mm. And at that point, it's it's basically pregnant with the contents. 
pregnant with flavor. But if you go to like a non, then that's usually when you're going for like the jumbo hoagie. And I mean, Scotland definitely has a different idea on uh, portion size than mm. elsewhere in the UK. <laughs> now, that was something I had to I had to get used to very quickly. <laughs> Ordering a large in Scotland is a very different thing. Hey, Penta, you ever have a garbage plate? Thing yes. is, you've okay. Those are very common where I live, and so it's it's what one of those they? where it's like nobody else knows about garbage plates. But every once in a while, I'm like, I run into a foodie who is like been all over, and I'm like, oh, I bet they know. What's a garbage plate then? Wow. So garbage Goodness. plate is uh. So the recipe changes a little bit uh. And, like, specifically the city I'm in, uh, there's a bunch of restaurants that are all like, we created the garbage plate. And it's like, who knows? It all kind of just mm. came out similarly or at similar yeah. times. Um, but uh, it is, it's kind of variable. For me, it's fries. I, it's fries, mac and cheese, ground beef, like, usually a hamburger. Uh, sometimes like hot dogs, specifically white hots, mm -hmm. the place I go to, covered in like a slightly spicy meat sauce as well. Uh, oh gosh, you know, I haven't had a garbage plate in like a decade, diced, so I'm starting like to forget. Like diced white onions? Yeah. Okay. It, it's kind of like a really excessive all-American meal all on one plate and then just lumped together as some horrible mash that is incredibly delicious. And yeah, like a thousand six hundred calories or more. Yeah, garbage plate. The way I would describe a garbage plate in the Midwest to people is like, it's like the bastardization of a, an English, a, the typical English bre breakfast with like baked beans and stuff like oh, that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And like Thanksgiving le leftovers. Yeah, I can sort of see where you're going <laughs> with that. Yeah, it's just what tastes good has a lot of starch and can go on a plate. Oh, fair and enough. It's, so for for like a like a northern Wisconsin, it's like, yeah, baked beans, uh, baked beans, mashed potatoes, melted cheese over the top of it, uh, diced white, on, uh, diced white onions, jalapeno. Yeah, that's definitely a much more mis midwestern variant than I'm and used like, to. Usually, like, usually, like, uh, low cooked, like, just like not not taco meat, but like that ground beef, but it's uh, like with like chili pepper and stuff like that in it. Where are we going for the infected broodmother fight, by the way? Into the haze. Ah, am I actually going to want my gas mask? No, we don't need it anymore. We don't we need it, but we do it. make sure you have the explosion trinket. The explosion trinket. Because yeah, she is a very explody boss. Um, yes. Duly She's noted. right about there. She's right behind me, isn't she? <laughs> been there the whole time. Don't look. Don't move. Don't do anything. Your vision is based on movement. <laughs> God. Is that a, is right. that okay? That could be any reference, but I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> guess. Is that a red versus blue? Uh, I think <laughs> I, that was definitely in red versus blue. It was, times. yeah, because Sheila, was, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the tank. Sheila, the tank. <laughs> mm-hmm. My my brain briefly went me. to the. I can't see them. <laughs> Wait, God, I, I can't the, like, see you. The old school. How about do if you're you, you've talked about your your wormhole TikTok sessions mm -hmm. you sometimes go on. Just oh, yeah. one of these days, go to like old old school YouTube and just watch like season one of Red Red vs. Blue. Is I really do need YouTube? to at some point. I really do need to. <laughs> I couldn't remember if they. I've even seen a documentary about Red vs. Blue, but I've never actually watched any Red vs. Blue. It's Kale Griff. Yeah, it's pretty good. Looks more like a puma. Looks more like a puma. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's so it's absurdist humor, and it's it's absurdist like two thousands gamer humor, and it's very funny. And it's it's some of some of it is not aged well. I will okay. say it, it is aged it. better than it's, expected. It's, it's aged better than expected, but it is very 2004 Xbox Live humor. Okay, duly noted. It's very Beavis and Butthead-y. 
where it's like, if you get it, you'll laugh. If you don't, you'll think it's stupid. I mean, er early on, it's definitely that level. It's, oh God, what was um, Arby and the Chief? It's not as bad as Arby and the Chief, if anyone is familiar with that. No, that was, I've never even heard about that one. No. Uh, just a yeah, ter terrible online webisode series of a guy that had like a, a Master Chief and an Arbiter um, like action figure and used uh, Microsoft Sam and similar AI, like old, old AI voice text to speech. Oh, yeah, okay, right, right, right. Yeah, I got what you're doing there. Where on oh. earth did my hoagie go? Nobody knows. I didn't deposit the hoagie. We didn't have a hoagie before. Shouldn't have deposited. But I don't longer have it in my inventory. I'm upset. Yeah, I mean... Do you know if we have any we twinkling have shells at many. any of the outposts, Wander? Probably not. Dang. I think I need one more to get my scimitar up. And I I can see a twinkling shell guy, but because I'm not a ranged attack, it's... I mean, if you want to go back tunnel. into the undershed, there's that tunnel with all of them. I That's where I got 12 from, but I think we have two back home, and I have 12 oh, in my pocket, and I need go, 15. There you go, you found it. It was in the oven. I never took it out. What was in the <laughs> oven? Oh, the moldy hoagie. Ah, God damn it. I was looking around. I was like, wait... <laughs> Where is this? There's uh, no way I'd be that dumb, right? Well, well. Okay. You're gonna Jumping surprise anyone. Up. Surprise yourself. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Uh, do I make a black ox burger? We actually don't have any many Ooh. pupa hides left. I will just make a spider slider. Ow. Okay, so I'm gonna take the. Zip line up down to where Wander is. So Marty, ready what, are you, for this what, are you, Kurt, what are you what are you working on right now? You're trying to get your fresh scimitar? Yeah. He's and trying to make we, it as fresh as possible. I'll be right back. I I What do we what do we need for your for your scimitar? Do we need twinkling shells? Yeah. How much science does it take to duplicate a twinkling shell? We don't have enough. Oh, I think I just got the last one. Oh, I did. Oh. I managed to to corner the expert? one. Yes. Oh. I managed to... I got all the ones from the Undershed, and then I managed to corner the one that's um behind the fertilizer bag under the porch. I'm coming oh. back now. Back I, the... the problem is I don't know if we have enough mint shards and whetstones. I swear, mm. the grasses around the uh, zip line into the haze are so trolley. They're, they've grown in just the perfect way to knock you off the zip line. Yeah. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Tell the world I'm coming home. Oh my god. Oh yes, I forgot about the very tall spiral staircase. It's so tall. And you still can't backwards long jump it. If only... So, the infected broodmother just simply doesn't exist if you don't plug the weed killer. Is that right? Yes, you can't. You can't. The den will be for it's sealed. It's covered in webs oh. unless you clear the haze. Both right. her and the uh, infected wolf spider don't don't come to the game. I think we have exactly enough after I grab some mint shards on my way back. Oh my god, I'm pretty sure we do. Oh, we have exactly enough mint shards for me to get my final two upgrades on the scimitar. Oh, I nice. Believed. I believed the whole time. I will say I won't have Blade Master because I haven't used a sword this entire playthrough, but that's okay. Oh, you're fine. It Actually, that's it a good point. Damage. I should check out my mutations. What am I going to take? Um, sharpshooter, of course. Um, can I come back possibly? Uh, so what? What would Adi want for that? You'd probably be like coup de gras. I yeah. So right Drag now, I peeper. what I have on is I have Blade Master one, which means I don't get the other thing, but I do get sort of text lower damage enemies receive. The problem is I don't think it'll stack with yours if you're running it. 
So I have I have coup de gras, cardio fan, spicy safety, and corporate kickback on right now is like my four that I think I want for sure. And I don't know what else I would grab. Like I could grab Manth's Theory of Stranger. Trapper Keeper. Higher crit chance. It's only Trapper Keeper one though. Is that worth a mutation slot? It's still two point five percent and it stacks with uh or it's two point five percent crit damage, and if you're running coup de grass. Because uh, like if Blade Master also just in increases my sword damage by whatever amount, I mean, right? It, you could also put Reliable Friend on as the as number five. I, I have imagine. um, I just I have a separate mutation set that lets me res people fast. Roger, Roger. So I just yeah I switch between those when I need to. Maybe Mithridatism. Does it work on her poison? I mean, I'm, I'm sure she just does normal poison. Yeah, I'm thinking of dropping Cardio Fan for that, because I just don't use much stamina as an archer. Okay, she inflicts... The, the thing is, if we all have the, 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 the Mushroom Trinket on to re reduce explosion damage by 70%, the mm -hmm. most threatening thing she's going to be doing is probably damage over time. She inflicts yeah. Venom. But not poison? I don't think so. Okay, well then Mithridatism doesn't do anything then. Just, I, I I understand it would probably be way too strong if it did, but it seems kind of silly that it only helps specifically with the poison from like basic orb weavers and wolf spiders and that's it. Yeah. Um. You could do Shocking Dismissal. Uh, Didn't we find out that that hurts teammates too though? All the, like, shock-based explosive ones. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, at this point of the game, and it does go through defense, explosive damage and, like, electric and stuff like that just uh, goes through defense. Well, so. it be worth explosive damage. Popping mum jeans on just it's... to have the constant little ads to distract her? Maybe. Maybe. But you'd, be, you'd be wasting um, poison damage. Do not oh, yeah, use not... explosions, though, because the She's also immune to her. explosive damage. I think they literally True. heal her, which is how and she heals herself dis during and the And shocking dismissals only on blocking anyway. Yeah. Yeah, you might I will say Trapper Peeper is like the that's It is very hard to parry with whatever I mean I can't tell what the ping actually is, but I have two yellow bars at all times. I noticed yeah. that when we were trying to fight the um the Black Widow last session with Avec, that like all of my parries were about a full half second too late. Oh no. Which, against her, I'm guessing is going to be a big problem, because isn't she faster than Black Widow's? Uh, she's probably slower, would be my imagine. Black Widow's the fastest. I would imagine uh, Infected Broodmother's about the same sluggish pace that the regular Broodmother is, but just everything right. is explosive. Right now, I'm looking at Sharpshooter, critic, um, uh, the critical hit increase from Coup de Gras. Apex Predator, Bardic Inspiration, and Yoked Blows. That seemed reasonable. Yeah. Bearing in mind, I'm going to be far away from the fight, ideally. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to be throwing mm -hmm. random debuffs onto the enemy and buffs onto you guys throughout the entire engagement, hopefully. We are out of cookie sandwich bits for more human food. We're out of okay. spider fangs for liquid rage. That's surprising. Uh, I made liquid rages. They're in the. We should each have a liquid rage in the Jamba Juice chest. Ooh. Jamba Juice chest. No, <gasps> the Jamba Juice chest. In fact, we should have. I really more need to just one. stop just jumping it down from there. That's very silly of me. Uh, Jamba Juice. Where is it? Jamba Juice. How does does uh, does liquid rage oh yeah, actually work liquid with rage. ranged? I don't no, it's just it's know. just melee attack. I think. What is it? Well, I obviously we don't want to drink one just to test. It does just say plus attack, but it does look like the sword icon. But it's hard to tell. Okay, I mean, I'm ready to go. May as well. Everybody got, else grab a human a food and a liquid rage. Amount of I haven't been able to get into the uh, chest yet. In <laughs> We should probably grab hey, one gotta get one because he's over there. Well. Uh, yeah. How do you split stacks again? Just double click on it. 
And then we should probably bring more for for the wander because he's over there. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll smoothied just... at the very least. You got uh, liquid rage and human food. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. I'll just cool. grab extra ones in case the fight takes a while because the smoothies yep. only the smoothies only last two minutes. Yeah. Be sticky on them. The thing that I have yet to do or for the minutes. like entirety of this playthrough is use the multiple hot bars. Oh, I live off mine. Yeah. I've got my first one for all of my main combat stuff. The second one is my wizard stuff and all my tools. And the third one is all my healing items and smoothies. My second gotcha. hot bar is purely aphid slivers. <laughs> I love that they've got their own hot bar. Yep. And then my third one is, well, it's aphid slippers and my fire ranch shins. And then my third hot bar is the trinkets that I swap between. All right, heading your way, Wanda. Man, well, you know what? Miracles. We're talking about sharing items in Baldur's Gate 3, but I want the pyramids from Divinity 2. Oh, yeah. Mm. Just pop a pyramid, warp to whoever. God, I love those. Because you could even like they leave one behind and tr toss it on the ground and have everybody else warp through it. And use levitation mm. to like warp on top of cliffs. This is my uh, fault. Which one is it? Oh, this one. Switching over to mint arrows. Oh. Why are you going through the haze, Panther? For fun. I forgot about the zip line. I went into autopilot. Did you go back to free mustaches? No, I just no, no. I was just uh, I just run in there. Oh, it's it's down this way. I was just grabbing some yeah. sap. I am here. Welcome. <laughs> and I'm not wearing my slippers. I don't believe in them. Okay. So this is not intimidating at all. Yeah, remember that you can see it right there. Wonder you got your your firefly lantern on. Yep, I'll switch it off. Figured I would point that out. I was insured. <laughs> So what helmet okay. are you going with right now for, for the fight then if you're not using the Mother Demon one? Or do you just want to use it? I mean, it's it's still good defense, even if you're not doing the poison. Yeah, I, I'm going to be doing Mother Demon. Yeah, it's still the I just best forget that armor. I have the headlamp on more often than not. All right. Hey. Eat, eat a spacho. Oh, that's a good point. I need to eat. And then um... smoothie up and I'll push the button. I am Man, good whenever. Give me a plate of this. I am good. I'm good to go. I look up top. I push the button. Can you push the button? Oh, she, she's. Oh wow. Okay. Get down here. Oh. Oh my God, she's moving too fast. I disapprove. Yeah, I don't, I don't like, like that. Scattering. Oh, yeah, she hurts. Oh, wow, she hurts a lot, actually. Hold on. <laughs> what made you think she wasn't going to? Well, science. Oh, no, you jumped in front of my arrow. <laughs> here, 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 let me, let me, I can get him real quick. Oh, oh dude, of all oh. of the ways you could have gone down right there. You literally okay. jumped up just as I loosed the arrow. Well, I was wrong. She's as fast as the Black Widow. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want to fight her in a corner with explosives. Yeah. Her health is dropping hard, though. Yeah, she, she doesn't have that like much five HP. Phases. She, she has just... five phases. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't I'm know. Trying to make sure the heals are going bar, constantly. But... Oh, okay. Looking so at some of yeah. your attacks. 
Some looking at all of the bonuses on you guys, it looks oh, yeah. like this is working well. Yeah, the debuffs are really nice. I just haven't had a chance to swap to the scimitar yet for the infection. You get a debuff being in that water, Penta? Yeah, you get less stamina. And also defense down, I believe. Oh, yeah, each each phase has a health bar because this is... Yeah. He's almost gone. You're there she goes. I'm running. Okay. I don't know what's going to happen, but she's could she go boom? <laughs> That's gnarly. I love it. That was gnarly. That that <laughs> crackling of her joints. Yeah, oh, good. man. Oh, God. Oh, Grenades. explosives everywhere. Yeah. That was super gnarly. I can't was... see a thing through this haze. I'm aiming for her center mass, so just don't be between me and the middle of her. I can't see anything where Penta is to even help. Oh. Oh, there's oh, more God. falling. Oh my God. Uh, I can, I think I can get him. I don't Hey, like my wasp friend is here. Go waspy. He's, he's dead. Oh, waspy. Your sacrifice will be remembered in the Hall of Heroes. Ouch. Grenades. More bombs. Good. They're not as scary with the mushroom trinket, but they still hurt. No. Oh, oh. no, 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 no. No, no, no. I can't see no, anything no, no. through the dust. I think me is not allowed. No. Oh, I, she I am... laid an egg thing on the wall. What does it do? Uh, oh, God. It explodes. I think it explodes. <laughs> Everything she does explodes at this point. Let's be honest. Ooh. Okay, I'm relocating. I, I now live over here. I... Ouch. Incoming gra grenades. Oh, the dash backwards. She's got I'm so much health this time. How many phases did you say she had? Three. I think she has five. She has three, okay. Oh my god, five? I think she has... Well, is it three or five? I, I deeply hope it's only three. Because there it is no like way about the arrows for five. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's three main phases, but the other two phases are split into like sub phases then. Because this health bar is gigantic compared to the first one. She laid the egg yeah, on the no wall way again. I will have so, the necessary materials to take her on that many yeah, times. I'm thinking this one is split into two. Once we get halfway done with our health bar, she might summon adds. Yeah. That makes sense. And then the first phase is just the gotcha phase where it's like, haha, bone crack. Oh, good. Her healing reduction debuff goes down. Does it's, it? Oh, yeah. That was a nice Yeah, move. it can go away. She's or at least at I thought it did. I had zero stacks for a bit and now I'm down to 16. So, question mark. Bump. What? Kielbasa? Sure. Damn. I can't see anything through the fog. Fog, I believe, also makes your movement slow, just like the bee pollen. Yep. Yeah, it could well be. She's below half health now, though. Wasp is back. Oh, what the? What the hell? Oh, man. man. Go get a man. I don't know where she is now. Where is she? She's, she's on the man. She's terrifying looking. Oh, I just had an explosion. I have seven stacks of lower defense. I have three stacks of lower defense and like six stacks of the lower healing. I've got three <laughs> stacks of lower defense, eight stacks of lower healing. Ah, my God, and a uh -oh, spider uh -oh. on my face. Ouch, 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 ouch. Do not approve. Do it. Ah. Still after him. I'm going just still ah, after she him. Just wants to take me on, doesn't she? She's had enough of my shenanigans. This stream. I've oh, got God, 20 of stacks of oh, no. healing. That's brutal. <laughs> my my bandages will... are meaningless. 
I will say I do am Ow. very thankful for the fact that her backdash is not as bad as the regular brood mothers. Yup. It's it's a debuff, but it doesn't do much damage. The debuff is nasty though. I think that's the one that lowers your defense. Oh yep, I'm wow. down. Okay. Uh I got him. Who's okay. I don't oh, got uh, him. Are you sure? Man, I, hey, do you have the ability to get I'm, him while she's on me? Ava? I'm going for him. Yep. Get Wanda going first. Going for Wanda first. Oh, she's on me, is she? No. Oh, now she is. Oh, she just turned around. No, she's oh, laying an egg sack. Hurt. Okay, okay. I'm just going to keep going. We're good. Halfway. She jumped away from me, too. Three quarters. Go, 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 yep. go, go. Get out. I've got you, boots. I'm going to come and drop some heal okay. bounces on, on you. She's on me. Back in the game. There you go. That was my last heal bouncer, though. Oof, that was a bit... That was sketchy, close. but we got it. Phase 2 is... Just... He's pretty so low. So far, down. just really gnarly. Oh, hi, friend. Again, these uh, oh, support you're... stacks back up. Ouch. Don't you scream at me. You're not Gordon Ramsay. Cool. That should be the end, right? Nice. Hopefully. Well, no, I think nope. there's one more. Bone crab. Yep. Gonna grab some more things. Top off your liquid rages if you have any extras. Human human foods if you have extra. Do it. Yep. Go close. He's on you. Ow, He's on ow, you. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> why? Why? That hell bar is enormous. Oh my god, why? She's so oh fast. God, oh my god, why is it so large? She's, she's so fast. She is I, I cannot describe how fast she is right now. Oh fuck. She's so fast. Uh, I can get him. <laughs> it's so fast. I'm losing my mind. That is incredible. Oh, I love so it. so much health. Oh, get away from the explosion. Hey, we killed a gnat. We Good job. Killed a gnat. Wait, she healed <laughs> herself. Ow. Oh, no. Yeah, no, she heals herself. from the Ow. explosions, and when she's in the water, it looks like she gets uh, life steal. Oh, my God, that five hit. She's Holy fast. cow, that five hit. Guys, okay, I'm Jesus. effectively out good. of this. I'm out of this fight. I have 30 stacks of the no oh. healing. Oh, I got. Okay, I was stuck. That was not good. I got none right now. I got her to somewhat distracted, kind of. I can I'm get going him. To Wanda. Oh, you I have. I have my reliable friend on a hot bar. Moving out. Reliable. You can put her on a hot bar. That's amazing. Well, no, it's just I have it on my mutation. Hot oh. bar. Oh, there's an explosion right next to Wander. Oh my god. Uh, I just gotta go fast. for Wonder here. Okay, I'm gonna go for ah. Penta. Come on, Penta. I sadly do not have. Oh, anything. that explosion's bad. Oh, oh. Getting out of the way. I have more healing, oh, but. Poop. Ow. Come on. Wander's down. Oh, I can no, go get him. I can go get him. I, oh. I don't know, man. <laughs> Explosions. Oh. Ouch. I'm down. down. <laughs> I'll get Penta. Okay. Oh my god, the speed. I love how fast she is. That is insane. She's one side of the arena, then she's the next side of the arena, then she's the other side of the arena. Oh. Oh. Ow. That is incredible. The reduced the 34 stacks of reduced healing. I can't, I just can't heal. Yeah, that's where I'm at. I have not gotten corporate kickback this fight. Yeah. The explosion is just painful. Thankfully, the stacks of reduced healing do go down quite quickly. Do they? I think they last the entire fight. No, no, mine. No, oh, I just wow. lost all of mine. I, I don't know what yeah. triggers them to go away, but. Watch it. One of you, Panther. I'm gonna just try and back oh, off a little bit. I'll focus on picking people up. But I'm I, gonna okay. see if I can get my uh, reduced healing to go away. 
Gold's his team medic. Ow. It's all good. I got her on me for now. Yep. I'm going to heal up real quick. No, nope, never mind. I'm, Please help. I'm coming back in. Oh, nope, Who's I down? Who's down? Wanda's down. I got okay, I got... okay. Okay. Ow. Oh, oh shit. On, you can go oh. get them. I'll keep her on me. Okay. Thank you, dudes. 35 stacks of no healing. Yeah, I wonder I what refreshes on it. I made it, I hit 39, and then when she hit me with the 40, it rolled over. So I don't know if it just clears at a certain point. Oh my god. I thought I was far enough away from that explosion. I'm so sorry. Peter, That's fine. Thank you, Willow. That is. In We've got it down in below, I would say, one fifth of her health. I'm gonna go down to poison, I think. Oh, um, god damn it, those explosions. Nope. Okay, it's not. It doesn't clear at 40. Because I have 44 now. Yeah, it like then disappears it and then comes back. Why can't I block right now? I need to find a spot where I can stand where it's not too much to the attack all the time. By every little thing. Ah, damn it. If you can res them, I'll try to keep her on me. Okay, I'll, oh, okay. I'll work on it. I'm, we're surrounded by grenades right now. Yep. But there you go. Should They're be clear. clear now. Oh, okay. Well. I believe. Uh, I still believe. Go, 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 go. Ah. Just keep going. Mm, Lord. I'm going to switch I... out one of my... Oh, yeah, I'm not going to switch. Oh, okay. We're gone. Well. That's... That last stage, we had her down to, I would say, at the, the most, we managed to pull it down by one third of her health, but the healing she was doing, oof. Okay, so negative increased healing for the entire fight, if not perfect blocks. Oh. Healing penalty so is two, negative 2% two from healing sources, but stacks. So I think what it might be is... Um, oh god, the closest one is in the is in the sandbox. Um, I just went back to base, way. it's so much easier. Yeah, um, what it might actually be is that it can only display three debuffs at once. So, whenever she gives you a new one, yeah, it puts that one on your little hot bar, but you still have like 30 stacks that it's not showing. Mm. Guess who's a dunderhead and is in the mant lab. Uh -oh. <laughs> hey, talk to Wendell. Oh, the Mant Lab. Yeah. Never mind. I'm like a whole session back. <laughs> oh, no. I feel the... Uh, I don't know. No, oh, Mum Jeans wouldn't have helped there. Uh, maybe the... The Mant would have helped? I mean, somebody had Mant on. I saw him mid yeah, yeah, for a bit. Mant did show up. He showed up. I think he, he did damage. Down so quick. I just don't know if Honestly, he did enough. I think I at this point, it's keeping her focused on other things. Does the a reliable friend do explosive seems to make damage? Because I think the man does explosive damage. Because he has he has the either like, from mom genes do it. No, but I believe the man actually does do explosive damage. I, just, I know the map boss, like the actual boss in the game does it, but I don't know if the summon one does. Mm. I th think he just does his, like, overhand punches from what I was watching during the fight. Well, yeah. do we want to just Honestly, retrieve our stuff and go actually finish the game at the very least? Or do we want to keep yeah. punching at the brood mother? Uh, we'd have to get... We'd have, we'd to, we'd have to get so many heads to do that. Oh. No, 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 no. We get the we get the summon back anytime we fail a boss. Oh, I have it in my inventory right now. I went and picked it up. But we would need to grind again for uh, any food and smoothies because we were pretty much out of all of our smoothie stuff. Yeah, yeah, and I went through so many mint arrows in that. Yeah, there's, there's like... like quite a few of things on the ground in there. I don't know if they're the mint arrows, but. Oh no, they'll they'll be the regular arrows because whenever you use an elemental yeah, arrow, it reverts to its basic yeah. state. You can get the and arrow are, back, but it'll be a feather arrow. We're also out of to, mint. I'd be good to guard guard dog the finale because yeah, that's something so. that I, I still have uh, 
not technically done. Because the other thing is, I they're going to be adding more to this game. We can just come back when they've done the update and just that is true. Just leave the uh, infected broodmother as our white whale. That's I yeah, yeah. A lot of a lot of people in the game still consider like her the final boss of the whole game. And now if you're no. witnessing the fight, yeah, I get, yeah. I get it. No, I get Especially it. witnessing Schmechter and her back to back. <laughs> that fight's incredible. They're not We're, even comparable. Also making incredible. it a lot more difficult with four people too, because that health bar is no joke. I did, I, yeah. I, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that a great deal. Oh, I had a load of fun with it, yeah. Mm -hmm. The, the in-between phases of like the gotcha of the like, grudge ring bone cracking i'm back to life oh zombies. yeah that was so actually good. kind of amazing it went through me a little bit but it was amazing all the same where is this where is where is, do i oh i don't need to get my backpack this time what the heck i walked all the way uh, over here i'm trying to pick up arrows but i swear this game is so inconsistent and let me pick up arrows so yeah. inconsistent i i really wish there was just a hoover button yeah. Oh, honestly, I apparently was going through that whole fight without my fungus charm on. <laughs> you were doing honestly, all right, it didn't. Yeah, it didn't feel that bad. Yeah, all things it, considered, it was easy to avoid the explosions. Most Early of the on, time. I didn't actually care about the explosions because I was out healing them. But towards well, her, the end of the fight, I had so much, so many stacks of of reduced healing that I could not. It's yeah. also like. Her, similar to the wolf spider, I think in fact the wolf spider, her all of her attacks do explosive as well. So if you're con if you're fighting her, she does explosive damage too. Oh. So it reduces not only just like the grenade uh, explosions, but also like you take less damage from her melee attacks. Right, 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 right. Oh, I think we did really well. I mean, it's a shame we couldn't win, but having to grind up. Well, no, again, we do have the parts, so. I, but yeah. It's before the, we play the, next, the... before we play this the next time, I will just have, uh, like a stupid amount of mint arrows and whatnot ready, so we yeah. don't have to grind. Yeah, no, that that seems really reasonable, because it would be a grind now to get the mint arrows back again. I'm also just in the camp of like doing the ending, yeah, seeing yeah. the true ending, and yeah. then. Yeah, keep her as. I'm the, excited the white whale. to see the end. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, and I like I like the idea of keeping her for for next time. Because who knows what uh, the new update's gonna? Maybe it'll bring. Yeah. Maybe it'll bring gear that'll. I mean, apparently, the the speculation is a summon build might be a thing. But oh, that would be amazing. So like, there's there's that. I would love that so much. There's a lot of questions that are in the air now because Eric, the community manager for Grounded his last like podcast he did left a lot of people with they left with more questions than answers but like not bad questions more of like what the heck is the next update because they still they're they're saying some they're saying some buzzwords that leave people questioning okay. they were like, this is this is going to be our most experimental thing we've ever done we're really excited to see what people think mm -hmm. about it and so people are the word experimental is always yeah. a little is a is a challenging word in game dev because there's the subreddit was going all nuts like are they gonna add like you know roguelite elements <laughs> procedurally generated like sub dungeons and i'm like why is it that do we jump to that as the first thing every time now <laughs> everybody wants the chalice dungeons until they get the chalice dungeons yep <laughs> as someone who really enjoys roguelikes in all their myriad forms, and in fact, enjoys them more when they are truer to rogue and thus incredibly hard and unforgiving, with almost no or no meta progression. I feel that the push to make every game into a roguelite really does need to stop. It mm, it works yeah. when the game is built around it. I'm sick. It doesn't work as th something just to be added on. I'm mostly I, I sick of the genre. Roguelikes. I do too. I do too, but I, I'm I done with them it. because it's it's reached a point where, and this is nothing against any specific game developer because everybody out there developing a game, 
as long as you're doing it with passion and with heart, you deserve, you know, to have a successful launch or whatever. But the the idea behind just procgening everything now as a means to avoid making a unique experience mm. because it's faster, mm. I don't, I don't. I mean, I, I, I call back to Starfield again. It's like, yeah, yeah. we could have made 60 authentic planets that were like one-to-one -one and they were unique and completely normal, but let's make yeah. a thousand that are exact copies of each other with Scorpion A and it's Scorpion B. It's a weird B. one because Starfield <laughs> feels like such a... <sighs> the cities are amazing, and then you see like the 90th flying, you know, giant butt yeah. fly, and you're like, but, all right, like, well... What I was going to say is that it, it's such a weird one because they've, they've kind of almost gone back to ye olde Bethesda roots. It's like Daggerfall, Daggerfall it's what, yeah. what like hundreds and hundreds of kilometers worth of procedurally generated area. And I it's like, well, this is great, but I only care yeah. about like two kilometers of it. Yeah, I think I think Daggerfall mm -hmm. from a matter from like Daggerfall and Minecraft, I think, are still technically the largest existing map system in gaming. Oh, well, I mean, Minecraft is <laughs> functionally infinite, isn't it? So is Daggerfall technically on a, on a like uh, developmental standpoint. It actually does not have a border. There is a certain. Not? I thought there's there's a, was a very a, specific border to it. I, I, I believe be there's a certain that. point where it'll just continue to generate stuff. Oh, okay. That's that's pretty cool. It has like it has its like this is what we want the players to see, and then world limits are just it'll just continue to generate things. I believe. Right. So what do we need okay, for so, the ending? Yeah. Uh, Obviously we want guard dog, so I'm gonna drop something for that. Um, we also need all of the stuff that it says in the embiggening cell recipe, because I think we have to bring it with us. Yeah, we need yeah. one gum nugget, three toenails. Oh. Alright. So I'm I gonna go to those. Penta's weird hell gum mining territory. We not have gum at all. We have four out of five. And then we need some toenails. I'll go get the gum if you guys want to find the toenails. Okay. We have five toenails. They're in which chest? Oh. This chest. Super oh, now really we only awesome. have two. Did somebody use a couple? Did you? I no. I made sure we had five left after I made my scimitar and I put it in I the um the splinter chest. Anything. I Were have they... not crafted any either. Did we use them for the brood, uh, the infected brood mother thing? Oh, I bet you we did. I don't believe it takes one. Crap. I don't believe it takes them. Uh, no. Are they? In, they're under oh, health, right? Oh, it does right? take three toenails. Yeah. It no. does the take three does. toenails. Okay. okay. Well, uh, then we need to go and get some toenails then. Dang. I'll go and switch the scanner to look for toenails. Uh, Madi, where did you get your last couple that you looted? I grabbed the ones from the toenail clipper up by the giant scabby on the porch, and then I grabbed the ones in the um, black widow nest over by Moldo okay. Castle. Okay, so there should be some on the stump. I and then some it also the costs nine hundred, I think, per. So we might be able to just do some dailies and dupe them as well. We can make we can make one and then just loot two because there's I know where two of them are. I just gotta go get them, and then we can just you duplicate sure? one. Yeah. Okay. Well, Avak, I think you could get them, but do you still have a tier two hammer? Uh, no, I've <laughs> got a higher hammer now. He's done it. Hey. No, I'll, I'll, I'll run up to the upper yard and grab some. Okay. Aw, oh, crap. I canceled the case of Dale Antilion. Ah. What? I... Yes, what a, what a stupid. I, I did it. I'm purpose. gonna console myself by eating this black ox burger. Only thing that will be able to make my day even slightly better. Om, om, om. Dude, I love burgers. Uh, water jerky. What kind of arrows would be the best, like um, uh, elemental arrows for what we're going up against? I uh, probably a, a. I have no idea because it's going to be. I would assume sour. That would be my assumption. Uh, do you? 
because I'm 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 gonna guess that uh, it's gonna mostly be orc orc guys. Where Any particularly at? strong ones worthy of super venom arrows? Oh no, uh, I don't think so. Okay, Where did all of our food go? We might need a lot of um, mushroom brick. Oh. Am I? Is our? F did somebody accidentally loot all from the food chest? Not me. I think we just I ate it all. Nothing. It was yeah, full. It, like, it was... There was like donut oh. pieces and. Oh, then no, no. I, oh, I there's a food chest over of... here with donut pieces. It's on the far right side. Yeah. What the heck? I might have moved. I don't know when it moved. Some things when I was doing the big chests. Real food. Mm. I'm gonna rename this one to fake food. Or I'll just call yeah, it tofu. I've moved over a bunch of food. They're attacking. Is that to rename it tofu? Yeah. Oh god. Fake food. I love tofu though. Yeah, tofu's actually kind of good. All right, so what are we doing now then, chaps? I'm repairing all of my gear and I'm gonna go get those toenails. Oh, good call, actually. Yeah. I'm gumming. Put away my put away my explodey trinket because I don't need you anymore. He's gumming. In the there's there's probably easier gum to get. <laughs> that the hellscape that I built over there, but I brought some uh, clay along. It's not that bad. Body made the, the little helm. Okay, this mm -hmm. one sucks. Uh... Taking a look around. How the what hell? trinket do we want to take into this? I'm probably gonna Thor's. Be wearing Thor's pendant. Yeah. 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 Switching over to Thor's then. Make. It. Get the ovens going with a bunch of mushroom bricks. Bugger. Monty made a tiny boy helmet. Oh! We got I have a tiny, tiny boy. boy. Where? He's on his way over. I guess he doesn't teleport. Uh, wait, is he underneath? Is he getting attacked by those ants right now? I. I give me this boy. My... Give me back my son. He is, in fact, being murdered by something. Where is he? Why don't I see him? He's behind you. He's behind <laughs> you. It's fine. You get the heck away from my boy. Hey, friend. Here we go. Get the guy. He phased through the floor when I did that. Come with me, friend. The question is, how on earth are you going to get into your house? Oh, this is bad. So, oh dear. Not that it oh, matters. There is an option to make it immortal. Uh, get him out of it. No, get out of Come it. Back. Why is he doing this? Such a brave oh, boy. He's... That is not a view that you want in third person. Uh, that view was probably lovely in third person, but in first, no. How do I get him up into our house, though? Do we still have stairs? Uh, no, oh, our stairs like... are very broken. Let's just build him some stairs. Wait, he might teleport to me. Let me see if I can get him to teleport. Because sometimes he teleports when I get very far away. <laughs> You've made him a little house, too. Yeah. This is amazing. No, friend, you've got to come up here. No, where are you no going? No lives here. Oh. I don't know how to get him up there. Will he teleport into it if we, like, leave the house? <gasps> Wait, he teleported. <gasps> oh, he teleported he? to there. Wait, come on. Come, come teleport up here, friend. Oh, yeah, where are you? 
He's trying to make it. Why can't we pick him up? Brain. Oh, oh, there he, he made it up. Come he up here, it. friend. You need to go to your little house. Come on. By the way, apparently you can Come get on. them to teleport by just interacting with the pet home. Oh. I tried, but I it said no pet, pet? you. Well, oh. I have to deposit him into the home. And then I think he's going to go home now. Why are you walking that way, Sniffles? Where are you going? Um, he doesn't want to go here. We will friend. His personality, serious. Happiness, happy. Oh, Pet for one day. decided Fine. that he would rather... Um, oh, is he in his house now? I don't know. It's so confusing. It, no, is he actually in there now? No. What? Where did he go? He, he floated into, up into the sky over he's, here. He's in... Yeah, he... Like... Come and interact with it. So, I, he, do you see, see him right here? He's yeah. winking in and out of existence right here. Yeah, I, I know, because when you interact with the pet house, you see that. Go go, go, go interact with the pet mm. house. It might teleport him. What if I... I, I well, I pet him. No. Yeah, he's still flying into the... Boot and he's gone. Yeah, he's back down there. I'm going to call he's Weevil. Over. Follow me over here. He does not wish to. I would just. He says no. Come here, my friend. He's still saying no. Ah, oh. Weevil is a free spirit. There you go, friend. Come this way. Hey, what are you up to, Panther? I get one of a boost pack. No! They're the ants! They're attacking him! Why? Where did they come from? How did they get up? Weevil friend, come over this way. Give him Why a sword. Why do you not follow me? He does not recognize you as his true master. Okay, well, the problem is he's bringing more ants over to kill him. I don't know how to get him to actually go inside. It's a maniac. He may be a very short-lived pet. Maybe bring the pet house down here. I don't think that'll stop the ants from trying to kill him. Do it anyway. Where is this lad? Oh, come on, lad. Even though no. Oh, there he is. Come along. Oh, he's mine now. This way. This way. No. Deposit him in the house. No. Wander, if you had him follow you, you'll have to be the one to deposit him in the pet house. I will try. Oh, all That's you have to do is palette. hit E on it. And then oh, it says home. pet detected, deposit the pet. And then if he goes inside, maybe I can relocate it again. Go in. Detected. Go in. Please. Oh, it Stop. changed his name when you pet him. Uh, now he's doing that. Um, Wanda, why have you broke the weevil? Friend, that's not where your house is. Go Please. in. Go to where it is safe. He does not wish to go inside the house. Uh, yeah, it doesn't want to keep the name either. Hey, no! There is lots of lag right now. <laughs> well, I'm I guess... noticing that my arrows are going all over the place. I think a large part of it is because our pet weevil is in some sort of perpetual state of quantum flux. I'm in gonna... the lag-free upper yard. I'm enjoying it. I'm just going to put his house up top, and you know what? If he makes it, he makes it. If he doesn't, yeah. he's dead to me. Oh, he's dead yeah, to well, all he, of us. He, he might be just dead, yeah. I'm just going to soak over here while you get those toenails. Uh. All right, I should deposit the gum. I got a lot. Did anybody uh, duplicate the other toenail, the single toenail we needed to duplicate, or are we, were we weevilin'? I, I was weevilin'. I think they got distracted by we, the weevils. We, 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 were, we were weevilin', yes. Oh, good old... The, the oh, wonderful Nikita interview. We, 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 we will be... Did those already respawn, Penta? 
They should be. They're on the they're on the tracker. So oh, gonna, if they're on the tracker, then yeah. They take seven days to yo, only one of them. How dare! Martin, How many do you I have now? I can't notice that you're wearing aphids as slippers. Yeah, that's um. I feel that this may have been giving our weevil friend the heebie-jeebies. Oh, I haven't made the weevil ones yet. Mm. I need one more pet. That might be the problem. <laughs> No, Might what I'll be do. what he sees in his future. See, but the thing is, the weevil ones are alive. They walk for you. You just strap yourself on top of two weevils and let them go. Ah, so it's not like the, the salt striders from Morrowind, where you like hollow out a section of their shell and just no you know, cushion your feet in their squishy inside bits. That's that's barbaric. Oh. Unless it's aphids, in which it's case that's striders didn't seem to mind it. Hat. Ah, convenient labor beasts. I'm sure it's fine. So wait, how many toenails do you have, Pento? I got two. We need one more? I mean, I can run over to the Oak Lab and duplicate one. I think we have enough. Yeah, we've got 2200 science. I can go do that real quick. Because we need is, five, right? You there? We, we need, need some race. Go! Oh. Winner gets uh, the weasel Another pet. toenail! Uh, and 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 it's another toenail, but mostly it's the weevil pet. The rights to uh, name the weevil pet. He was named Sniffles, but it went away when we put him in the house. I see no sign with Sniffles on it, therefore he has no name. I, That's a good point. I didn't see a name, so I tried calling him the boy at the moment, and that went away too. So I I think this weevil is resistant to name changes. That's because so, you haven't probably earned the right to name him, but that's what this race is going to do. It's, it's because he actually right. has a name, and we've just been calling him whatever we want. That's true. That's true. We've never asked the Weevil what his name is. I want to name him Porridge. Master Sylvester Montague Esquire the Third. Hi, Burgle. Can I get sneak past you? I notice that the Pentra and are basically the same distance from us. Well, a Penta is. It a has been away. duplicated. Penta, you've let us all down. I don't want to name a Weevil. Nor do I want a Weevil. And as my winnings, I declare that Penta should name and keep the Weevil. Well, his there you go. His name is Porridge. Porridge the Weevil. Okay. Porridge the Weevil. But I'm not naming. I will acknowledge him as that, but I will not name him. I will, let him <laughs> I will call him name. that, no matter what you decide to name him. <laughs> Next, we need an aphid named Broccoli. Ooh. Oh, broccoli but... and porridge? It's, I mean, that's probably good. I've probably had it before and just don't recall. I've had a lot of porridges. So this might actually be the last time that we get to relax in our, in some ways, better than home mansion-like abode. Yeah. With our own jacuzzi. That's okay. We'll, we'll just have to make our next house just as comfy. Hmm. Well, our next house is probably going to be a stained wall, broken down gas station with, you know, glass hey. all over the floor. Look, wow. I just... I just need to surround the building in fridges, and then we'll be okay. <laughs> I know so it's cheatsy, but I I absolutely want to have yeah, like a, a safe house. Is, if the game lets you do it, if the game lets you do it, then it's not cheating. <laughs> if if they if they wanted to change that, they have had ample opportunity to make it so that zombies can beat their way through a fridge. Oh. They they can if you if you enable it and if you there's mods that allow like them to because oh. I believe Oops. your frigez have uh, a help pool similar to player constructions. Frigez, I see. Frigez. Oh, you're gonna say one there? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I was just thinking if we wanted to do the role playing thing, I I could randomly generate what my character's motivations are. So Fridge Wall is one of them, but if he dies, 
I have to abandon it until I roll it again. <laughs> that would be amazing. This is your I, secret. What, what is it that, that, that you have in D and D? Like that you have like. Um... Like for role play flavor, you, you can have like things that you're aspiring towards, and also like you know, like negatives and positive like goals. And I forget what they're called. It's character. Uh, I mean, inspiration points are what you get for doing it. But is it is it is it your motivations? Yeah, motivations, and then there's like oh, and like I, feel like I don't know, like, is it like ticks or something? I know Rates? in 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 no. Dark Heresy. Uh, you you basically have like you can end up with like flavor stuff like my um, my ad mech would uh, follow like a, a like a tradition of stamping three times when the drive was spooling up on the ship or stuff like that like little Here, little up. little flavor things like and he was super superstitious about it you always had to do it. But I don't know what the equivalent was in D and know they had them, like both aspirations that your character was always trying to do, and like phobia uh, and and phobia analogs that they would have to kind of work in as weaknesses of their character. But I don't know the word they use for it. Where's the gum? It's in the it's in the the real food. Oh yeah, there it is. Uh, do you have we the toenails, by the way? Go? Yeah, we should sleep. Yeah. Uh, Marty, this is going to be the last type that you can be overlooked and uh, taken care of by Wendell and many other things. Yeah, emphasis on the many other things. Yeah, yeah. Wendell is now a very small part of the whole. Do we have the grilled science somewhere, by the way? It's not an actual yeah, item. Yeah, it's, it's it a goes quest item in data. here. Oh, okay. With, like, with the notes and stuff in the zipper. What I would love, right, is if you play this game long enough that the, the scenery around the house changes over time. <laughs> okay, It'd so be I've great got, like, until new winter buildings hits and we go up die. and stuff like that. So I've got the berry leather, the gum nuggets, and the koi fish scales. All we need is the toenails, and I'm assuming right. Penta's got them. I got the toenails. All right. I got them toenails. This is it. We also need as many of our building supplies as we can fit in our little pockets. Okay. I will bring all of the clay. I don't know if we need a huge amount of clay. Most of the stuff we can build with, like, mushroom brick. Okay, oh, well, we could someone have been else is bringing all of that. Break. I am happy to deposit all of the clay then. Shoot. Yeah, we could have been making even more. We have a ton of mushroom slurry, apparently. God damn it, I, I, I baked some. There's the oven should have been making terrible. some. Mm -hmm. Some brick, but... Okay, well, are we just... Oh, I need to go grab the food that I made last night. It's gone. It's probably in here. It is in here. I want to should... grab some food from there as well, because I just auto-deposited the bunch. My fungus facho. Right. That was refreshing. Yum! Eat some. There we go. I'm gonna miss this place. It has been our home for many weeks. Many Don't weeks. Even need to boil it. Yeah, at we're this point, it kind of feels... <laughs> and we yeah. won't have any of this. Yeah, that's what I was saying. We're, we're going to downgrade when we leave this place. It's going to be a system shock. But Here we will we have, have the lived ingenuity. Like kings. We'll have the ingenuity to build our own hot tub using nothing but charcoal and uh, acorns. I feel that uh, at scale, it's a lot more complicated. <laughs> What? No. True fact. As long as you just don't care about any safety standards. Yeah. Ah! You but listen. Douche. <laughs> just do it on purpose. <laughs> if I did, I would be laughing harder. <laughs> That's true. You would. I accept that. Ugh. Was this a convenient accident? Mm -hmm.
This is probably not the fastest way there. Who's attacking Honestly. things? Oh, um, is, is he accidentally breaking that just by walking into it so much? It's doing no damage, though. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave him to it. Yeah, have we he's have we befriended a naughty there. boy? He's just like a he's like a chihuahua that has a problem with furniture humping, basically. Yeah. I I didn't need that mental image. <laughs> I really didn't. I could have gone my whole life without that mental image and it would have been a good life. Oh, you've never <laughs> met anyone with a chihuahua then? I have not, no. They That's are probably for the best. They are barely dogs. I don't consider them dogs. I have a good friend with a Pomeranian, and that's uh, that's uh, bad enough. Yeah, Pomeranians, they're like a little bit better personality-wise, and then appearance-wise, like, massively better. But they're analogous. I don't dislike all small dogs, because I think wiener dogs are amazing. And like dachshunds and stuff like that. Not all small dogs are bad, I just... I'm a big dog person. Always have been. Yeah. I saw a Scottish wolfhound, I think it was. Or moose hound. Oh, I forget wow, what yeah. they're called. Uh, whatever the, like, absolutely massive looking... Yeah. Wolfhounds. Okay, wolf they, anything used to, used to hunt moose. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Or wolf hounds? I don't know. Anyway, yeah. we saw one of those last summer, and it was just like... Pony sized, and I was uh, bigger than a pony. I don't know. He was so oh, the wolfhounds are massive, so I'm I'm thinking you might be discussing. Uh, yeah, discussing. and I was just like taken aback by the size of the dog. Oh shoot! And... Um, did we bring Wendell with us? Wait, where is I... he's still in Moldor Castle? Yeah, we definitely. I think we do need to bring him to the job. I think he will just unless... teleport. Okay, does he teleport there? I Penta? Put, you're almost I... there. I mean, I he no teleported idea. to Moldor Castle, so... He teleported to Moldor. Well, let's see. I'm going to wait about halfway between the two until I know for sure. <sighs> I'm making my way over. Heading towards Penta, even though I know I shouldn't, because he's probably going the wrong way. I'm here. <gasps> Is there oh, something you have to trigger to make Wendell teleport? Uh, I'm going to bomb the Java Matic. Oh, here's another um, mixer thing. We. Jabomatic bombed. Raw science. Uh, place in beginning cell. The beginning cell is in place. We're almost ready to commence brewing. Okay, Wendell did not teleport here, but he is talking to me. Yeah, I I could hear him. The man's just window. shouting very loudly. Yeah. He's in my head. Oh god, that would be very unfortunate. He's about <laughs> the size, shape, and color of a brain. Mm. Size, I'm not entirely sold on. Because raisins... Maybe like a... Like a chipmunk brain. I mean, to be fair, based on your current size... Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Relative He's to the, us I don't now. think it, I don't think he would even fit. I think I don't. I don't know. I hate to be the one to to tell you this, but you've got a big head. Yeah, but I, you can stand next to the person. You stand yeah. next to the old Wendell, and he's he's quite large. Guy, you press you press the button to have him follow you, and he immediately responds with, "I'll show you the way." Ah. Oh, <laughs> hey, something has happened. Did you touch the electrical? <laughs> I did. That was fantastic. Yep. Have I died by misadventure? Oh, that was everything battery. I'd ever hoped it would be. I kept expecting Maudie to be the one to have that happen to him. Uh, I asked I earlier, but is. apparently the one that I touched was the one that doesn't kill you? 
Yeah, and then I, we were going, when we were on our way into the Undershed, he's like, I kind of want to touch this one. I'm like, you can touch that one. I'm not going to say it won't do it. Where is it? Where's my backpack now? Oh, no. It, it gets teleported to a safe spot. I tried it earlier off camera. Yeah. Well, now I got to get down from here. Kind of annoying. Whoa. Why are the water physics so bad when you're trying to jump out of the water? Ah! Let me out. My goodness. Oh, uh, Penta, you got the toenails? I do. I was Did so certain, though, else? that it would just electrocute me and I would just take a bit of damage, but no, I was like, you're dead. Yeah, just instant. Don't Disgusting. Play with with live sockets, kids. Bad. Do not... Ah, what? Why am I suddenly... What? Everything is suddenly dark. Seems right. well done. Oh, the lighting just... Right, I think. This the is the oh, worst. Oh, I missed. Assuming That's okay. All goes to plan, of Can I please jump out of the water and onto this leaf? Thank you. I don't actually think I need to go back for my backpack. Oh, Sometimes dang. you don't need to. I don't know exactly what triggers it, but sometimes you don't actually hey. lose your backpack. I think it's whether or not you actually have, um, like, things that are, uh, what are they called? I have like, so many random gubbins in my backpack, though. It's items and ingredients? Well. Do you have, like, yeah. ant, like, insect parts and stuff? Uh, no. I, I don't think... Got a gear. Yeah, it doesn't take right, gear out of okay. your backpack ever, or I think it doesn't even take... Um, smoothies and things out. No, I might be wrong on that, but it's yeah. just like resources and yeah. So if you're not carrying resources, you should be fine. How the heck do I get up to you? Is it line? Oh, which one? Oh, you can no, climb really? this cable, um, or you can go up to that zip line over right. here. Window. I'll climb the cable. Got places to go, and you decided not to teleport for once. It was there a uh? A quick travel out of the undershed? Um, well, there's a door down not, here. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's the exit door that's... that we leave the dungeon from. No, 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 no. He, do you mean the one underneath the Java Matic? Yeah. That's. I don't think we get in there until after we do the embiggening stuff. That's not to the undershed. The undershed exit that you come up is over by the termite. It's over nest. The termite. That's right. Yeah. I don't actually. That one just goes like straight oh, down. Oh, this is no. This one isn't. Uh, this is the. Uh, it's the big storage. It's the what? It's the Javamatic storage facility, which is where you, after we complete the event, we go in there to get the. Go in there to get crap, or before the event. I don't remember. I just remember that door opens up and it's got like a bunch of bunch of crap, bunch of items and stuff, and it, like upgrade supplies and bombs and. This is a class two laser. Laser. Endo, follow laser. my friend. Come on, give me the satisfying clickety clack of me pressing these buttons. God damn it. <gasps> Hello, Wendell. Welcome, welcome. Oh. He's immune. No, he's not. Ah. I was expecting, and I'm going to be honest, I was really expecting us to basically restore him before ending the game. Yeah. I, fe I feel that the, the whole thing with Schmechter was kind of divorced from everything else. Yeah, we just kind of fought Schmechter. Yeah. There's some raw science up there. Insufficient power. Yep. It looks like there are still a few bugs left in the system. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. Uh, there. Okay. 
But first, I'm gonna go grab that world science. Hmm? Get off out of there, you! Three mustaches. Now, do we have yeah, to? Yeah, take that, you. I do not have a repair tool. I do. Oh. Uh, do we have to just fortify these? Uh, I think we repair these and then it. I think. No, I think we should fortify them if we can. Uh, yeah. Right, I'm coming down to you now. Ouch. Craft walls out of mushrooms. Okay. Let's get the mushroom walls up and running then. I will be on. I don't have build supplies, but I will be on defense duty. Yeah, sadly, all the building supplies are gone by the time I went for them. I've got a lot of clay and pebbles if you guys want to go nuts with those. I think I've got a I got a ton of mushrooms here. Uh Panta. And uh Oh. I was hoping that that would drop just like a gazillion of them. Uh I don't know if I'm just bugged out or what, but I have 180 mushroom brick on me and I can't oh they're now they're building I think it's a ding thing it was not letting me build walls I wonder why oh are there gonna be flying creatures do I need to make these walls taller uh oh I don't know if there's gonna be like wasps or anything even if there are I'm fairly certain we're pretty well set up for him. I think we're gonna be fine. There's loads of mushrooms on there as well if we needed to. Uh, oh, no, we have to bake the bricks. You have to make them into slurry and yeah, then break annoying. the bricks. Yeah. Break the bricks. All of these walls that I'm breaking are turning blue because they don't actually exist for me. Okay. Hey. You're not allowed out, Penta. You've been a very naughty boy. You must stay there. Oh. Oh. The, uh, according to my chat, the door underneath the the big mixer is open with building uh. materials. Oh, uh, I know it's got like weaponry and stuff in it, but I wasn't sure if it was before or after the uh, the event. Good. Nope, still locked. <laughs> we probably have to talk to Wendell first. Oh, yeah. Wendell. Wendell! Get out of the air. You I know Panta loves to just attack you and abuse you, but now we need you to do something for us, so we're very interested in being nice to you for a while. What's on your mind? He doesn't want to talk about anything. Hmm. We have to try to start the thing. I can't build all of these you yet. are all over the place. Yeah, Ow. maybe try and start it after the uh, things have been repaired. I will go up. I cannot build yet. There we go. <gasps> do, 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 do. Oh, things can probably get in under this, can't they? A game is only as good as its overworld theme. <laughs> That's true. Donkey Kong Country, Super Mario Bros. 3. The game is only as good as its water level. Yeah, I was going to say, actually, yeah. Donkey Kong Country is good because of the water level. Yeah. And the music they played in there. God, that music is transcendent. Yeah. Ba it is super relaxing. <laughs> ba -ba 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 -ba. Penta, did you go up to talk to Wendell, or should I go up there? Wendell doesn't want to, uh, he doesn't have any information, so no, I'm no, no. going at up the, to... No, 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 at the mixer thing. Oh, I have to bring him there? Yeah. Here, is he still following me? I'm on my way up right now. Oh my god! No, yeah, he I is. annoyed him. Uh, 
Ah, what a goober. Wendell. Are we mostly going to be fighting against ants? No, apparently there's bombardier beetles, mosquitoes. Ah, here it is. Oh, little scallywag. We killed him. The fusion process for the embiggening cocktail is quite loud. It will continue to draw attention from the director's little army. And it will take some time to brew, I'm afraid. We'll need to defend those mixer modules for as long as it takes. If the orcs destroy them, they'll take down the entire system. A proof okay. suggestion. Strong enough defensive structures around the Javamatic's weak points could buy us the time we need. I have a storage facility not far from here that should be There's. used in this endeavor. Oh I'll mark its location on your scabby. This might take a bit longer to get you home, but safety first, as I always say. For mm -hmm. science! All right, so it should be open. Oh, wow. Yeah, it should be open for you guys now. Yep, on the way. How is this already damaged? There's a bunch of ants decided to attack. Rude. I know. Oh, and, and we can also scattering. set our spawns here. Oh, nice. Huge. Huge There's a bunch blush. of chests with a bunch of different stuff. Ooh, food. Pupa hide. Oh, oh, gunpowder. Oh. Um, beefy slop. Sticky workers. Comp. Madi, were you doing half walls for the upper I, layer? I did half walls at the bottom when it looked like an ant might be able to crawl under. Uh, yeah. Other than that, I don't know. There might be enough acorn stuff here, by the way, to um, make the acorn turrets. Yeah, I've got acorn uh, pinecone pieces, pupa hide, splinters. Oh, there's loads of stuff in here. My good lord. Lots of it? feathers. I've got a good amount of Mushrooms. Oh, 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 oh. Fire it. Oh, a man figurine. We did it. Now we can make I a man statue to put it in the room. <laughs> no room. I do not have body. room for the gun, I'm afraid. So, with all of these extra mushrooms, do we build like even more walls somewhere? I don't know. There's also a lot of clay around this area, too. You might want to put roofs. Hmm. Yeah, honestly, I'm kind of on board with putting on roofs, because as much as we can take out the flying things, if they really just focus on the mixes, then we will lose. As long as we can hold their interest, then it's fine, but otherwise, it's a bit of a, a, bit of a risk. You make mushroom brick roof? Is that a thing? No. Um, I guess we could make the feathers. Uh, also, if we went back home and grabbed thistles, we could make those spike traps. How do we make the turrets that you're talking about? Uh, well, oh, we would also need ammo for the turrets as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Although I think, don't they just fire pebbles? Uh, I mean, yeah, but that's like the basic ammo. I'm sure back at home we have a ton to make better ammo too, resources wise. Resource wise, in we fact, just... I'm actually I'm gonna go back to the base real quick while you guys do buildy buildy. All right, and I'm going to because I have I, I just need two weed stems to make an acorn turret. Oh, okay, I've got a bunch of weeds in the in the base. Yeah, yeah. 
I think I'm just going to build the walls the too high, uh, Wander. And that okay. might be better than just a... Uh, because the thing is, if they can get... Well, we need to be able to get up to them too. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I we sure can hope. make jumping puzzles that we can navigate easily enough, but the enemy are going to struggle with. Also true. Like we've got over here, for example. Two bits of clay. Is there anything we want the acorns for? Uh, well, acorn turrets. Yeah. Depending on how many we want to make. Where where do we find them in the build menu? Or are they crafted? They're they're uh, in the same menu as just like construction. They're on the fir third page, I think. Next to chests and the spiky. Oh trap. yeah, there we are. Where are we going to place them? Marty, do you want to build a a turret for us to put the turrets on? What? <laughs> or a tower is called. Oh. Put a turret on my turret. So just, just a little double turret. That, I mean, hey, might work. What fan of turret Oreos? Um, oh, you, God, you your weevil. You can put them sideways what on What did you do to ball, the weevil? Actually. I didn't do anything to your weevil, but he's breakdancing under our table. Yeah, I think he got stuck there, and it's really funny. Weevil's like, why Why do I exist? Like, We're going to need flower petals, acorn tops, acorn shells, silk rope. Is this a central enough coats. spot? Uh, yeah. No, that would be perfect. You just need a floor on there for me to put the... To yeah, the uh, I'll make one in a second here. Let me build this. Yeah. Wendell, why are you following me? Uh, I've got pinecone pieces, by the way, not acorn pieces, because I'm a dumb one. Like, we do need those for the roofs. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, right. This is. Orc disruption bomb. What the heck is this? We have 1.2 thousand web fiber. We're going to need a lot. But what's an orc disruption bomb? Which needs silk rope. Uh, probably confuses all orc enemies, would be my guess. Like an EMP. Then I feel that we're probably going to want a couple of those. That's a possibility. Does this, does this work as a spot? Or will the extra little bits up top not count? Let's find out. I can stick it on the eight. On the uh, corners. While Ash is as long as patience. I would, once you build it, jump in and. I have nothing that I can use to build it. We need weed stems, yeah. flower petals, silk rope, acorn tops, and acorn shell. I have everything but the weed stems. Oh, well, uh, I've got, got a ton of weed stems weed if you come stems. over here. Where's over here? I marked it. Over there. Over there. Over yonder by over Wanda. There. Yeah, right there. Oh! You right. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm cleaning it up. Don't worry. What did you do? I may have made several hundred turret ammo. Oh. And for some reason, oh. they didn't um. drop into my inventory. They dropped in the base. And so now the base just has a ton of ammunition laying around its by its workbench. <laughs> well done. Hey, I didn't know that was the thing that could happen. I figured it would just tell me no room in your inventory. Noted. I understand. I'm no, I've no idea how the disruption bombs work, but I'm just going to place down the blueprints for a couple of them in the spaces between the mixes in hopes that these will have a nice big AOE. So you can see a good amount unless things are on the opposite side 
of the walls from you. That almost makes me wonder if we should put it over here instead. Because I don't think things are going to come from the middle. I think they're going to come from the outside, right? Yeah. What if we just... Wait, 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 wait. What if we just put it like... Uh... Can we put it right up here? Oh, wait. Does this... Does, does this let you see... Well, it doesn't <laughs> let amazing. you see over there. Let's over there. move it a little bit then. Oh, wait. What if we just put it right here? So now we can see that side, that side, and over there. This might not be the worst spot. I don't actually I don't... know. Do you know where they come from? No idea. What it's all we... new to me. Oh no. You okay? You okay? <laughs> I don't I think he is. There's another sound that someone who is okay makes. I did it again, but this time with different ammo, and now there's just a bunch of yellow balls in the base. Uh, what are you up to right now, Wanda? Uh, getting uh, pinecone pieces so we can put roofs on these. Oh, nice, yeah. Like I've got back how many? I've got here. six pinecone pieces on me right now. I could bring back twenty-three pinecone. Uh, yeah. If you want to bring pinecone, if we have any more burrs, uh, we might be fine. I don't know. If you also want to check the ovens, I think I put some more mushroom to task, uh, to bake. Why didn't that place? Maybe we need something bigger, like a... That's interesting. Okay. How's that one? Okay, so we can see... I can't see this little, like, section next to me, but what if we move you, like... I think ultimately what we want is to have a couple of turrets covering each other. Well, unfortunately, we have to man the turrets, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I was hoping it would be a tower defense thing. It's actually quite fun in the turrets, I'm going to be honest. But yeah, I was sort of assuming they were going to be automated as well. What is this? This lets us see down into that pit and over to here as long as shooting doesn't count as hitting this wall. I'm just really impressed that we managed to get to the third stage of the infected broodmother on our first try. Yeah. Especially considering how tough the infected broodmother was. It was sincerely yeah. impressive. We did we did well. We did well. Yeah. Bring that, bring that, bring that. Seven plus. What if we just We've got a bunch of um, half-built walls, Marty, still. Do we, or are they just not loaded they... for you? Oh, that's a good point. Maybe they are. Can I go through them? Uh, oh, now ah, there they go. They have. Yeah. Either yeah. punch them, or if you've got a repair tool, you can try to repair them, and it'll instantly bring them back into reality this this gives us really good this gives us really good sight to at least these two so is the plan to have one person at each of the things and one in a turret because we probably don't want too many people in turrets we'll need to keep yeah. people on the ground yeah, we'll just have a, a person in also the turret. uh are you still back home or are you on your way here already? I'm on my okay. way to you guys. Because we should probably all have repair tools, and I do not have one. I don't know if you can repair them during the event. 
I think you can repair walls, but not the thing itself, because that's how it is during mixers, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, you can repair the thing itself, too. Hmm. You can repair the mixer during the event? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I don't think you... I didn't think you could. I think we're going to be fine. Yeah. My inventory is okay. already also, I, like, disastrously full, so... I put one... One roof on this. Uh, I put one roof down, and now I'm out of uh, roof bits. So I think I'm just going to put clay so, down and then other stuff. Wait, did we need the stuff on us to make a chest to hold all of the ammo for the turret? Is that how it works? Uh, I actually don't know. I don't know if you have to have it on you or not. I think it would pull from the pull from a chest, but I don't know. Does anybody have some acorn shells? I do not. not. Did we, we build the, the turret yet? We mm -hmm. built the yep. turret. I was going to make a chest next to it to deposit all the rounds in. Can you make the like basic basket? Nice and clean. Um, maybe. But will that be enough with how much Penta's bringing over? Probably. <laughs> yeah, Let me just see. Did we fully loot all the chests in here? Because there probably are still acorn pieces in here. I think I looted the. I cleaned up. Gotcha. Yeah, these all look empty. Oh, wait. This one's not. It's got a single piece of gum in it. What's the deal with you and Schmechter? So how do I... R is to change ammo types. Okay. <laughs> wow. That was a quick turn. Timing. That was, wasn't it? Uh, well, I yeah, guess we can't build this, which means we need to see if I can build one of the other ones. Cancel, get all my materials back. Uh, okay, so how do we a... activate this event, by the way? I, I we... imagine we push the button again. Yeah. Okay. Give me a Who is going to push the Z button? I, I need a couple more. Um, done. I need a couple more clovers in order to make the basket. Okay. Okay. Well, I does mean, anybody I, have clover on them? I don't, and I can't pick anything up. My inventory is full. Where full is the nearest not? clover to here? But I'm gonna have a quick look and see Wanda if I can wanted birds, a right? One. Nah, I've given up. Ah, oh, that's the spirit. I'll, I'll put the birds in the chest then. I found them. Uh, you got everything? I, I Yeah, I found the clovers. Oh, okay. In fact, I can probably make more than one basket, assuming we need more than one. Alright. Okay, now I'm actually kind so. of disappointed. Somebody in chat's suggesting aphids manning the turrets. And yeah, that'd be pretty great. Can you fit all of the rounds that you have in there? Absolutely. Or will you need not. more? But I okay, can put, then I can make a second storage basket. I just want to see if I can, can pull. I'm going to put all of one type in there and see if it pulls from the chest. It does pull from the chest. Okay. Okay, well, I have a second storage basket here. Is that enough or do I need a third? Uh, let's find out. Wait. It might just be enough. Does someone want to throw down a quick lean to so we can all get asleep and do this there, in the day? Otherwise, it's going to be rough to see. There are beds under the, uh, the storage. Oh, that's storage right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. And I, I don't know if those give us better bonuses. Probably better than the lean to. I made a lot yeah. of bullets. Was that enough, or did you need one more? 
I, I'm good. Everything's in there. 125 rounds plus, uh, wow, a lot more of all the other ones. I made a lot of bullets. Okay. So, what is the, yeah, we can go sleep first. What is the general game plan? Are we going to have our ranger boy in the turret so that the melee people can be on the ground? Uh, well, I don't know if the ranged benefits affect the My turret. benefits are probably not going to affect the turret, so it's I... most likely better for me to be actually firing my bow and giving everyone buffs and debuffs and stuff. So is there a reason to even use the turret? There's only four of us, and three of us have to be turret. guarding the ground of the actual... I'll pop things. into the turret every now and then. Gotta see how many bad guys there are. That's fair. Okay, where's the bed? There's the bed. I could just man the turret for funsies. If we don't desperately need me to be bonking. I think we just play it by ear. If somebody, yeah. if there's like, if somebody's, if there's like a time between the waves, hop in the turret. If there's airborne enemies, hop in the turret. All right. This is it, everyone. Oh, remember to eat. Remember to give Wendell a healthy smack for good luck. I quick deposited all of my food, so that's, that's okay. I've got a spare. I got a spare food. Where are you? Spider up there. I am upstairs. Coming. All right. Uh, if I Hello, wolf spider. Drop it there. That should be fine. Oh yeah. So who's getting which of these? At least it's clean. I, I don't. I don't think we have an. I don't think it's an assignment type deal. I think it's a. Hit the button and see what happens. Y'all. I still don't know if they attack them all at once or if they attack one at a time. I. I don't know if it's like a, a, a static wave where it's the same event every single playthrough, so you can kind of game it. I don't know idea. I assume it's random or random ish. Hey, I'm on this one then. I'm going to hit the button and then Ooh. zip line down. Okay. <gasps> oh, a B C. D E F G. Not seeing anything yet. Oh boy. Oh, incoming wasps. Oh yeah. That's you were right about the uh, flying enemies. I'm getting down from up here then. Oh my lord. Uh, they're already breaking B. Yeah, I'm okay, going. Running over to B. Are they in it? I don't know, I just saw the little thing pop up. Oof. And now they're on A. Oop. Oh yeah, we probably need to have one person at each thing. Okay. Holy crap. We'll absorb a bit of health off the soldier ants. Yeah, honestly, those orc bombs would probably have been amazing given the amount of enemies here. Oh, orc bomb a deer beetle over here. That's scary. I'm clearing out the fire ants because I got the mint base. Switching over to my boat. Firefly. That just hit me. Firefly down. Oh, this is a fresh heck. It is. Oh, is there a dust mite somewhere? There totally is. Got a uh, wave of fireflies coming in. Okay, I think I'm good on my side. Goodness. I got the dust mite at least, or one of them. I gotta get rid of these dust mites. Ladybird. I'll take it down because I got the uh, mid base. Far away from... Oh, yeah, I've got that, the dust mite. A vac? I've got a couple of um, fireflies around here that I'm having trouble with. Okay, on my way. Oh, I'm being Mosquitoes harassed by dust well. mites. I'm, I'm down. Holy crap. There's like six fire workers or fire soldiers and a ladybird on the ramp. Yep. 
Oh my lord. I see you, Penta. I'm coming. I've got your hoops. Right, they are. Oh, you know what would help? Annihilating that. Last mates. Gotcha. Honestly, yeah. I gotta. I have to be able to heal. Kind of keep them off the walls. I'm being attacked by a billion dustmates. I have to pull back and heal, otherwise I'm gonna go down again. There's a orc uh, black ox coming up the ramp as well. Oh, they're back on mine. I was trying to help you guys out at B, but I need to go back to C. Good. I got I am taking a lot of damage here. Dustmite. Healing up. You need to go away, little dude. So badly. Getting the ladybird. Ladybird dead. And I'm gonna head right, for the they black are ox almost beetle. at B. In fact, I think they are in B. I think they are actually getting into B. Oh no, never mind. It was just glitching. I thought it, I could see the wall collapsed. The lady this bird is the normal fire worker ant. You're not even one of the orc ones. I know. We've got a couple of. Uh... Where's the? Where's this guy? Where is he? Oh, oh you broke through. Is he in there? He he was breaking through on one of the wiring sides. I'm fine now at C. How are you guys? Good. Good on B. We me. I'm grabbing bits off the corpses so they'll disappear because they are a hell of a hot time to see and do anything. I have a lot of fire soldier ants over here. I'll be over once I coming over the help. Fights. You over at C. Okay, you guys work on that. I'm gonna do some quick repairs if I can. Yep. Yeah, yeah, go for it, Ben. I am backing uh, Marty. I might actually be fine here. Actually, that's was, my last healing, isn't it? I decided to help Wander do dust my duty because those things were actually making it a nightmare. Ooh, okay. We're all good over here again. We should go with the bomb arrows for now. Where? Uh, a couple of large, fireflies. Oh, a lot of fireflies up top. Yeah. Coming, coming, coming. Uh, I'll deal with the... I'll, well, I'll deal with whatever I can. Oh. That sucks. I, I kind of hate that there's just a regular firework fireworker here. Not part know. of the event. <laughs> there's another dust mite over here. I'm going to get him. We're halfway done. Nothing's been damaged yet. Uh, they're on A. They're on A. Ooh. Roger. Five flies down. Where are they? I don't see it. Oh, the bombardier beetle oh, over here. One right. Bombardiers, the bombardiers are easy for me. I got an axe. Ooh, they're actually damaging B. Yeah, I can see a bit of damage going on B. Okay. Uh, something else on B? Where, Loads of mosquitoes somehow? around there. Oh, dust mites. Dust mites oh, dead. Hard time getting a feed on them. He's fine. Oh, hello, bombardier beetle. I say no. Over C. Nothing else is over at C. Bombardier beetles. I got them. Oh, there's a mosquito coming over for C. My lord. Black ox and a bombardier coming up the ramp. A bunch of fire worker, fire soldiers as well. All right, I'll head for the black ox. That's a lot of damage coming my way. I'm switching over to uh, melee for a little bit to soak up some uh, health. I'll take out the fire soldiers, the mint mace. Uh, I might need some help with the flying enemies over here because I apparently can't get on the roof of C, and okay, that's where I... they all are. I got all of the people on the ground, though. I should be fine. I don't see the flying enemies at C. Uh, are okay. they already inside, then? Oh, no, they're, they're still on top. Oh, no, they're on top, I see. 
Yeah. Get up. I can't I'll get, get up the there. Bombardier Beetle. Uh, try to go to the other side and just go inside. Yeah, and looks the like they're side. in. They uh, are in enough that they're attacking it, yeah. Cool. We got a good amount of them. Where is this dust mite? I cannot get a bead on them, and I am struggling to get on top, so I'm just attacking the ones that I can from the outside, but someone is going to have to go up there to deal I'm with the one down, that I can't. I, I can't move because of these fireflies and dust mites. Oh my lord. Okay. Oh my goodness, they are proper inside. Oh, I just got Bombardier Beetle. If you can take a second to grab me, Avic, they're on the wall, but... Where are you? On the other side of the sea from you. Coming. You've got an Come ant off. behind you. By the way, I know you guys are kind of hyper-focused on... You need on... help at sea quite badly. I, I know, but B's about to go down. I'm, I'm okay. killing... I think this firefly is bugged. Oh, damn it, I I'm down. Get I, to actually, you. I actually think there's several enemies that are currently like bugged out on B. Because I can't hit them and they're I doing damage to it. I can't get to I'm sorry, man. You're so close, but both me and Moddy are down. Um, and I'm me. just going to respawn and run back. Uh, respawn. Alright, running back. Yeah, Sorry, Marty. Uh... Oh, did we fail? Yep. Yeah. Oh, damn. We were so close, though. <sighs> okay. Strong defenses, double walls, maybe even double roofs. Oh, man. That sucked, though. We were so close. The only problem, again, with roofs in general is if the flying enemies get on top of them, we can't get to them unless we build, yeah. like, a bunch of scaffolding. Yeah. If something gets into it, it's basically I, GG. Yeah, I was doing oh. quite well with all of the ground stuff, but the second I had three mosquitoes on top of mine, I could not get to them. I'm also going to point out, they didn't go for this one. The only they definitely for did at times, because yeah, we have so some the walls that are damaged. Are they? But uh, Also, isn't that where one of the black ox beetles came up? Over on this I feel, side? I feel very much like B and C were... Prime yeah, B and C were getting crunched. <laughs> this one didn't get touched. I just repaired one bit and then the damage from just now. So yeah, let's keep the roofs off uh, the other two. Okay. Honestly, maybe don't even give them the second layer of wall. Just keep it low and multi-layered. Yeah, that seems fair. Um, that would definitely have given me an ability to shoot at the uh, airborne targets that were hovering over the mixes. Because I really struggled. When Moddy called for help, I just couldn't get a, a line Yeah, on them. beat on any of them. Because they were, like, from my perspective, they were right over the middle. And from the outside, I had to go up above them in order to be able to shoot down toward them. <sighs> I mean, that was good effort, though. That was way harder than I was expecting it would be, though. Yeah. I'm kind of glad, though, that the end isn't just a walk in the park. Because up to now, I'm not going to lie, while the, the bosses have been fun, they have generally been easy. Yeah. This has given us something a little bit more interesting to play with. For sure. I probably didn't have my... Did I have my proper... Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, was the turret ever useful, by the way? No. <laughs> it really wasn't, was it? I'll let down. Or, I mean, maybe with the explosion rounds it might be better, but I, we don't have too many of those. I feel like explosion rounds concentrated in, like, a middle of the fire ant soldiers would have been really good, but I think that we only had the ability to make, like, 10 or 20 of them. Yeah, super situational. 
So if we're only going to do one layer, we could do roofs, the um, the angled slanted roofs, because then we could actually get on top of the wall and the roof to hit the mosquitoes. Mm. Yeah, sure. Because the main issue with the roofs, I think, was because we made them two stories tall. That's why we couldn't get up to them very easy. My chat was suggesting, um... Vac, what are you doing? Why are you stabbing them? Because they don't exist for me until I stab them. Yeah. I know, it's annoying, but... There. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they just don't load for me, so they just exist as... Uh, ghosted weird shells uh poor penta i have lived that life don't throw some food down for you well i'm gonna drop the well i might as well just i just can't tell what walls are real and what ones aren't i know right that is not just me. There's still a Wonderbot backpack over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I never came to pick it up. Uh, are we building them two walls tall again, Penta? Uh, I thought I they were, we were only putting them to one wall tall and then a slanted roof. Uh, I'm just going to drop can do... all the construction shit on the ground and go get more healing items. You guys... <laughs> you want to check for okay. some more mushroom bits? Because uh, we did actually lose a bunch I picked up all the mushroom stuff that I could see. Ah, okay. Bricks anyway. It's all just in the middle. You know, big old, big old pile. Okay. Keep in mind, we also have to repair the mixer modules themselves. So if we... Looks like it's ready to go. Done. Nice. Grabbing mushroom bricks. I will be over there to help with things at the moment. Have you actually completed this section in the past... Penta. No. Oh, so this is a brand new one for you then. That's cool. I'm going to take off the second layer on this one. For sure. What is this? Actually, no. We don't want the second layer, do we? What? Really? Ah, oh, these bloody worker ants, I swear. Go away, comrade. How are you building over there, Wanda? Um, I'm just redoing the walls so they're just... Who don't yeah, have any, like... Uniform height? Like, yeah. Yeah. Because it was kind of scuffed earlier. Yeah, it still is kind of in some places. And let me see if I can pull these down to a uniform height as well. Yeah, it's because we have a bunch of these half walls that were... Put in. All right. Like, do you want to lay those two down? Oops. There. There we go. All right, now what are we going to do on top then? I was actually going to go put in a second layer. Yeah, that seems like a pretty solid idea to me. I will do the same. 
Because, yeah, if, if we can pack in extra layers inside this structure, that's all the better. Yeah. Okay, I've got three mushroom bricks left, and that's it. Pence has said he left some behind. I picked them all up. Ah. So that's that. Maybe there's one or two left. Oh, no, there's one left. That uh, would make sense, because otherwise... Oh, but I can't pick it up. Never mind. It is a no for me. I will drop the other two that I've got. Yeah, drop whatever you got left. I'll see what I can do there with it. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit more. There's two bricks over here as well. Well, you are up to Muddy. He sleep. He sleep. Muddy bed. He dream. He dreams of Genie. Hey, now in terms of the roofs, what are we tr thinking of building? Ah, uh, let's see. Or are we thinking of building anything? I had originally given this one a spiky acorn roof, but it looks like, or I, I gave it a uh, a pinecone roof, but it seems like all the stuff is gone. Yeah, the whole, uh, your, your thing has been destroyed and all the parts fall on the ground thing is in that event is a little bit, a little annoying. Again, we need area loot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, rooftops. What can we do? I really wish that, um... When you've got an inventory full of things, and that's why you can't pick something up, that it would tell you that. Or rather not uh, pick something up, so you can't switch over to a two-handed item, because you've got a shield in one hand and a single-handed item in the other, and if you try to swap, then you need two inventory spots to free, but you no longer have that. And instead, it just says, it makes the sound of you equipping, but doesn't equip. And you're like, what's wrong? I don't understand. I think it does have a pop-up that says you don't have room to swap, but... No, I, I, well, may, maybe then I was completely oblivious to it, but uh, I didn't feel that there was. Oh, stairs. Now. You... Yeah, my chat was recommending Name. stairs, but we need a lot of acorn shells to make it work. Uh... Or mushroom bricks. I mean, didn't we get a lot of feathers from the storage? We could go feather roof and those functionally the same as stairs. Mm. I've got six iridescent scales, but no feathers. Yeah, I'm trying to decide. Body? Hey, Penta, do we have, like, a mm -hmm. bunch of mushroom bricks back at home or now? Nah? You seem so broken on my screen right now. What have it's I done? Con consistent falling animation. Oh, I can nice. see your head moving around and you moving around, and you're clearly on top of the wire, but you are falling. I'm not at the base. Arms the and legs moment. flailing nice wildly. <laughs> but I did put more in the ovens. I was in the pond lab real quick. Ah, there you go. I mean... How much do you guys care about actually grinding for these resources, or can I just, like, start generating stuff slightly unethically? Oh, this is an actual... Uh, not I mean, power. it's... Power oh, there it is. is it I, I'm, I'm considering we're, like, at the end, like, literally, like, the last part of the game. I don't really care. I'm not, I'm not of either mind about it. Avac, Madi, you guys got preferences? Specifically because it's building resources and um, we're already like so far behind, like 
I'm, I had to go back to the pond lab to get Brussels sprouts or muscle sprouts because we have no healing items. I'm a little bit worried about time, seeing as we're already 40 minutes past our usual. <laughs> if we fail the next attempt, I might have to make Dip it one more trip. Yeah. Or, I, I mean, I don't mind if you guys... That, no, that seems wrong. It's the end of the game. Let me just... I'm just going to generate a bunch of mushrooms. I don't think anybody's going to get mad breaks. at us. Listen, chat. The faster we get it done, the faster we get to Zomboid. Think about oh. that much. Maybe chat just wants more, more grounded. I don't know if I want more grounded. There we Not go. until the new update, anyway. New content is always, always hype. Mr. Weevil. Hey, Mari and Avac, I'm just going to sit here generating large quantities of mushroom bricks so you guys go nuts with them. How? Why? Because <laughs> it was available to me. I make this. I make this. All right, Madi, if you want to grab that s bunch of mushroom bricks and start doing things with it. Sure. Oh man, do I wish there's a faster way to pick all of these up. Yep. <laughs> I think that's what he was talking about, yeah. I think I'm more okay with it because I'm more resigned to the fate of like because we failed, we'd have to have to do the grinding. I just... Yeah. I don't know if I want another session of smacking mushrooms. My big and beef is mostly that all of our resources that we spent building disappeared. Just winked out of existence as part of this. I guess it's kind of realistic for damage, but... I thought, I thought things I mean, broke I down one to one. I think it's kind of part of the game, but... I can see why, especially with Maldi you know having a bit of a time constraint and if we run over it well we, you know as he said we're already 40 minutes over and if we run too much more over then it's a case of gonna have to do the whole thing again i i can totally get where he's coming from that like you know, another week of it no way the worst thing would be is if you know we had to do another week and then we came back and then one like aced it in half 30 an hour minutes straight no. away and then, like wow that's always so, the killer for me. So I, I, I understand it. Also, it's mushroom I, brick. I think we've proven our competence in gathering mushroom brick. This is why Terraria Journey Mode always is just going to come up for me. See, but Terraria, though, like, it's so easy to just farm this stuff. This wouldn't be us. I mean, I guess if we had built a giant garden, we could have farmed it. I did. I did have mushrooms going, but the problem. But then was we also have to turn it into slurry and then wait yeah. for it all to yeah. cook. And that was during sessions where like nothing else was out, and that's all I was doing in like my off hours is I would log on with a podcast for like an hour and a half and just smack mushrooms. I, had, yeah. I don't have the time to do that at this point. So it, it, our time playing grounded is just when we're playing, and I don't want a three-hour-ish, four-hour session of just smacking mushrooms, waiting for them to grow, and then hitting them again. It just feels. Feels more like an in-between task than an actual on-task on I mean, task. I mean, for me, I've always sort of, uh, and, you know, what I'm about to say, I I want to preface with, uh, I understand, like I said, where, where Modi was coming from with the time constraints and stuff like that. And I also understand the arguments of, well, you know, it's not like I don't know how to gather mushroom, but when I'm playing a survival crafter, the gathering is part of the game. So fast tracking that just feels like i'm fast tracking myself out of the enjoyment of the game like if i didn't enjoy the grind i wouldn't be playing a survival crafter I but it, it, it's one of those it's one of those things where you know there's always an exception to a rule and you've got to be flexible to the, the I like situation it when there's a progression you know? system to it uh satisfactory factorio are the easy examples you know early on you've got to just put down those like gross manual drills to get iron 
mm. but by the end of it, you're just like swimming in so Drowning much iron. iron. Yeah. 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 It, like the progression in Satisfactory is that you are simply progressing to doing new things. Like you're no longer worrying about building another iron deposit. Like because they're functionally infinite. You just Everything you're now onto the here. you know whatever like tier seven construction material is and building the logistics routes to get your various camps together. I, I see get both sides of it. I I come from the perspective of like, and this is this is something that I'll, I'll go on record saying. By the way, there's if like we, if we a hundred more here. If we do or when slash if we do the zomboid, I'm not I'm I'm gonna put it out there that I don't want God mode shenanigans. I will no. immediately like I, I'm only gonna do that if something that. gets like really glitched out. Uh like I, I think Wholesome Dead we did that because something Is it something about Dane? I don't know. There's a little bit of God mode shenanigans, but it was rare. Was but that? I mean, like, not. I'm not gonna be like, oh, we, we need to build walls, so let's spawn in a bunch of logs like that. I'm gonna be like, no, we just no. go chop the wood. But well, the, from thing the, with, the, thing, the thing with the zomboid is where I sort of see where where you know you guys are saying like, there's realistically outside of the bosses nothing that is a threat to us in this game. In yeah. zomboid, especially if we're playing Everything. on any degree, if we're playing on any degree of if you die, you die. Um, and not need to roll a new character. Well, then now going for like, yeah, you may have gone out to the forest. A once milk before run and is suddenly down life or death. Yeah, exactly. And if you do die, then that has real consequences. And so, spawning like, yeah, you may have gone to the forest, chopped down a tree, and turned it into logs a hundred times. But this one time could be the time you're going out there and you're so complacent that a zombie sneaks up behind you and chomps yeah. into your neck. You know, so. Cutting that out is literally cutting out, you know, a real big part of the game. Here, we're cutting out the grind. I can't and, copy this one. You know, okay. Grind is grind. I, as I said, I, w I wouldn't play these sorts of games if I didn't, you know, actually draw enjoyment from the grind. But with Zomboid, you know, we're talking about cutting out like a 70, 80% of the point of the game, which is to survive. Yeah, to, to finish the point I was making... Not, that's a kind of my the, the point was like I compare what we're doing right now in from my perspective as a gamer to like being on the final boss of an RPG and knowing that you need five more levels and so you could run around in a field for 30 hours and level up to kill yeah. him or just stop playing the game because we we have the skill we like literally almost did it but I'm, i don't feel yeah. like spending four hours gathering mushroom brick because we know we can do it i think i've got a different temperament because i am just a, you know a, a real roguelike player like if i die at the uh, to a trash mob just before the boss well i start the entire game again that's just normal for me it doesn't feel bad but at the same yeah. time and especially when it's content it's different it hits different when you die at the last boss in a roguelike and you were recording it. Because now, well, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I imagine you all kind of get where I'm going, though, where you're like, oh, why? So everyone who is watching this with me and was expecting this to be to get to see the final boss. Well, nope. They're just going to have to suck it up because I suck. That hits I mean, a little bit different. In a roguelike, I don't care if I die. But I'm, my my comparison was to like to like a role playing game where there is no like just go next run. It's like fighting Kevka and knowing that you rush through the game and you're low level and you need you you literally cannot beat the game unless you do the grinding. That's that was yeah. the point. I was like this this is like we can do it. We just gotta focus. But it would if we just put mushroom walls, we're still doing the fight and we would have yeah. gotten the bricks anyway. I just don't want to smack mushrooms for two hours to be able to do the fight. What I was meaning is that in, from a content perspective, I don't think anyone wants to watch us smack mushrooms for two uh, hours either. That's why it was really nice when I could just do it in the late hours of the night. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the difference but, between edited content and just everything included content. Uh, you know, you're, you're pretty much encapsulating it there. You know, so it's like playing from the depths. You can show every little thing you do in that game, which will be dozens of hours worth, or you can skip, you know, you can time lapse the construction, and, you know, an hour turns into a minute, and people can get a sense of what you did, but don't have to sit through you doing it all. 
I think I, I think I'm just I think I'm just ready to say bye to grounded. <laughs> and I don't want to smack. It's so for weird day. to hear it's you just... say that because I know how much of a grounded fan you are. I am, but I'm also like I know the next update's coming in like six weeks probably, and ah, just, right, and you're gonna I... be playing it again, aren't you? Oh, absolutely. So I'm I'm just ready for the new content, and like this is technically new content for me, but it's not because I know it exists. I just yeah. never did it myself. All right, how a, close are we to the I think finalized B, construction of these? B is mostly I mean, good. I some of these what? I think I, I give up on the building because half of the time I can't place blueprints and sometimes I can't build them. So like this one is. I also know the building is not your favorite part of this game either. Not of this game, no. I love building in very specific games. I love building in Zomboid. I love building in like early game Terraria, kinda. Cause I like building the house and surviving the night, but. I like oh, making no. pretty villages in Terraria myself. I'm all about like every NPC getting like, a bespoke environment. See, I, I'm a mix of the two in that I will build a weird T-shaped house with a lot of jail cells at the beginning of the game. <laughs> and then once I have access to like living wood yeah. and paint, especially paint, Oh yeah, especially. Uh, then yeah. I go in and always start with the most important NPCs to me, and the others get to sit and watch while other houses get built that they won't get to live in. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna get to be. Uh, I've made a I've made a MC Escher. All right, Marty, shall we head back up to the bunks? And I imagine these two will be finished shortly. Uh, do we have looks food of it? if we sleep? Through the night? Ooh, it's already 4 a.m. It's already 4 a.m. If we Actually, wait another, yeah, like, two minutes. Yeah, we'll just wait another two minutes. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's getting light as we speak. Uh, that oh, being no, said, no. Penta, how how went the um, getting peels? Because I currently have bandages and nothing else. I have this for you. Oh my goodness! They're all beefy. How's everybody else on heels? Uh, I'm good. I just grabbed two of those, amount. and I'm. I, I grabbed the other place. four. I just grabbed eight. Okay, and thank you. Brought back a lot. Right. Okay. This is it then. I'm almost there. Now, if we lose, we just have to accept the fact that we are not gamers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm already counting this one as a loss. It's just an alternate version of me didn't lose and saw the ending. Uh, that version of me is a Chad gamer. This version of me, no. Very sad. Okay. You okay? Yeah. Uh, ah, oh, I have button. taken a photo. Oh. Huh. <laughs> I may have been just looking I was button. super concerned. I was like, no, it crashed. Well, that's fate. Fate uh, has decided, no, you don't get to see the end. Yeah, I'm like, I would say I'm like 99% usually against the stuff, but I, got, I still haven't even started Armored Core. I haven't finished Baldur's Gate 3 yet. I work full it's time, okay, so mate. like I'm not. I, I'm it ready for ground. Okay. I'm ready for this grounded to be over, so I can continue doing other stuff, and we can move on to the next thing. And then whether the next grounded update actually is good or not, I can play through it again, and hopefully it's hopefully it's everything that we wanted it to be. I mean, they're they're hyping it up. They're doing a good job of making us feel like it's the best thing they've ever made, but. As we talked about at the start of the session today, sometimes uh, sometimes devs say things are going to be good, and they end up being a little, little, little underwhelming. A little still underbaked. good, but underwhelming. A little underbaked. I trust Obsidian, though. I shouldn't, because they really don't have a lot that I go for these days anymore. Like I didn't play Outer Worlds or Outer Wilds or whatever, which, whichever one it is. Okay. Why? I have finished the ziggurat. I was going to say, this is starting to look like we should be lopping off heads and rolling them down the, the I steps. I mean, are we not? 
I mean, technically true. Yeah, good point. All right. Good to click. Yup. Yes, it's time for the inevitable fight to begin. The inevitable fight. Yeah, as see, here's a head right here. Loss. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just going to stay at the top of this ramp. Not building okay. combat. Oh, that's unfortunate. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, stop. Oh, I'm gonna go huh. get all those fire ants. Nope. There we go. I'm going to help Marty with some of these orc ants. Okay, they're trying to dodge away, which I disapprove. Fine, I will use my bow. What am I using? Uh, spicy arrows. Okay, we are losing something. Oh, actually, I can't see. There's I one I underneath you. There's actually several underneath on the wall already. Uh, I'm gonna get a head start on these dust mites because that was a big problem we had. Was having yeah, them that was up. a huge problem actually. Wearing my right armor? Wow, they're just doing that much damage, huh? Got the dust mite down, well done. But the ziggurat seems to be confusing the hell out of the ants. Yeah, the ants are actually a little bit more focused on this side. Ooh, yeah, we're about to lose. Yeah, two these walls of wall. need repairs. Is if you can make it over, Wander, if you want to. Does anyone I'll else have a repair? I'll trade with you, Wander. I'm, I'm already to... over here, too. Okay. Coming. If you can head to see, it's on the wall facing furthest away from you. You'll see the two pieces of red wall. Yeah, that way. Uh, Keep going. I'm going to go yep, double yep, check yep. this direction. That's right. Yep. There's more stuff see. coming in over here. I see it. Awesome. That was just me. weirdly slow for some reason. Dude, I. Uh, ladybug coming in. Ladybird, rather. I feel like I can't move when a dust mite hits me. I feel like my controls actually stop working. <laughs> That's I think it does have a micro stun. <laughs> ladybird is going for. I'm getting the ladybird. C. He's down. Oh, hello. Quite a few of those dust mites. Alright, we've got... Uh, actually, no, it looks like the walls are okay for now. I hear the dust mites, but I cannot see them. I killed them. Okay. Rather, my wasp friends helped. I wish they would stick around for longer. A and B both have walls that are messed up, but it looks like Wanda's on the job. I'm doing my best. Are you sure about that, Wendell? Did, did some damage. Right, oh, here's the... I'm getting, a, getting a head up on these guys coming up the mountain here. Here's the black ox beetle over by me. Nice. See, so he looks okay for right now, so I'm moving over to it. There's a wall by A, an internal wall that needs help. I mean, if you come to my side, Wanda. Stood right by the wall that needs to be repaired. Yeah, you keep fighting. I'll, I'll get to it. There's a couple others that needed some. Um, uh, yep, yep, yep. yep. Fire ants. There's more stuff heading to see. I'm oh, moving in. Moving over to see. We're much more coordinated be... now. Honestly, I think we just needed to. That better. A couple more layers is part of it. But also just knowing what was going to happen, because we were really uncoordinated in the last one, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, and knowing where things were coming from was a huge thing, because 
Again, I didn't know. It does seem like it's wave-based. I expected yeah. it to just come from all directions, but... Uh, does anybody happen to have a, a little bite of food? <laughs> I do, actually, Penta. Right, right over here. Um, okay. Coming. Lots of bad going over gross. to uh, yeah, we got B. Oh, Fire yeah, flies. lots of stuff on B. Oh, lots of stuff on B. Yeah, a lot of ants. things over there. Fire ant. Come on, wasps. Help me. I have so much trouble with these. The fireflies. I actually find them fairly easy to take down. Well, got it, a yeah, like we're, we're so melee than, boys. They fly no, 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 right no, outside I mean, my ring. Like more so than mosquitoes by far, because oh. they hold, they hover so much more, rather than dancing around. They've got a really nasty. Knock oh, there's back. uh there's a lot of stuff going on on A. A lot oh, of stuff boy. going on on, on A. Over. They're in there, I think. They're in and attacking. They gone through. How? Some walls need a bit of TLC, but Coming. they're okay mostly. I'm killing dust mites. Oh, I'm low on stamina. Need to let my stamina regen. Wow, uh, bombardier beetles coming up to B. Yep. Yep, on it. Keep those buffs and debuffs rolling. There we go. Oh, Fireflies. Lot. No, mosquitoes on B. Wow, okay. What? Why is on the, the whole ground on fire well? right now? Is that the problem? Uh, that was me. Yeah, that I... Yeah, ooh. yeah I'm I not going to get in me? there to get Penta. Yeah, I got him. Does it hurt me? need some help on B? It doesn't hurt me, I don't think. Wow, okay. Got a lot of badness and sadness on B right now, guys. Yeah, no, I've got a bunch of fire ants on me, too. I, I have to pull back and heal, because uh, that Black that. Ox Beetle is not... He's lagging off for me. He attacked me while he wasn't even near me. Wow, my shield is unequipped. That's... I love it when that happens. Not great. Ooh. Oh, we need somebody on Dust my duty, because they are messing me up. Where are they? I got them. What are they weak to? Fresh? Are they are burrowing through on C. Oh, yeah. I'm down. I'm killing the dust mites on C. I'm gonna kill this guy and then get Wander. They are actually through and attacking you know the mixer. I'm just gonna run back. I cannot keep everything. They are growing faster than I can deal with, and I do not have the stamina for it, I'm afraid. Oh, good. They're I got hitting my, the mixer my directly. Back. I am getting absolutely destroyed by dust mites. Killing them. We really need help over on C, guys. Coming. Yeah, I'm keeping... There's a bunch of flying things on B that I need to be dealing with right now. Oh, I'm down. Should have switched over to my melee. The hell was that? Uh, fun. I'm on my way. You're up. I'm up. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I'm going to kill this bombardier that was behind you. Going full melee in front of it. Kill these dust mites. Okay. Yeah, I need I someone to repair the mixer if you, can. if you can. I don't. Cannot think repair, repair wall under attack. Yeah. yeah. You can repair walls, not the mixer itself. Okay. I Have think I've enough? managed to clear everything on A and B. I'm still clear on C. I can't even pick up the bricks, let alone build the wall. Where is he? I heard. This the might dust have actually mite, huh? been the last wave, or we've got one more. I would assume one more. I, I would assume with the bar where it is. I can't build. Like it's those bug bits in the way. 
Ooh, did they break the acorn turret? They did. That was actually pretty helpful at the end. Oh boy. Hey, okay, we've got yeah. a huge thing, uh, wall coming towards C. And it be. Uh, and I can be. try to get B. I have like Ant Annihilator and a bunch of stuff on. Okay, I'm gonna go to C. I'm drawing the bombardiers to me. Food. There's two bombardiers. Oh, that's mean. Yeah. They're weak to chopping though. I'm gonna be able to come in and axe them. One. Then there's just this guy. I think we got it. Yeah, I think we as got it. As long as we keep we them off C. My lost friend, help! Ooh, I think I just killed so many ants over here. So many wasps spawning. I love it. Dust mites. Ooh. Some mites over here, but that should be the end. Yeah, it looks like it's about finished. There we go. Hey, hey. I think we've done it. Okay. Jesus. There's just so much crap on the ground. You could say that, Wendell, yes. Wonderful work, though. You would make an excellent lab assistant when you're a little older, of course. Now, we just need to grab the embiggening cell before the orcs return. How do you like that, Director Spectre? You got it? If I can get up. Yeah. Excellent. Cell integrity appears nominal. You might be the best assistant I've ever had. But don't tell Burr that. He's just <laughs> looking for an excuse to use that grilling function. Anyway, back to the oh, nice music. Maybe we can get you home before Yeah. Then. This is actually super uplifting music. I like it. It's a major key. You did it. So, yeah. do you not lose weapon or armor durability during defense things? Because no, I uh, am so that's full. probably me. Uh, so when I was messing, uh, when I was fixing everything, I turned on infinite durability. I don't think it would have made a difference there. I'm just a little I upset keep that the fire. I think I'm just upset that the Bernie rounds actually did friendly fire. No, oh. that almost that they almost ended it. <laughs> definitely do. I will say though, if we had like set up walls where they came in from, yeah, and had turrets set up, the turrets yeah. were actually really good. And they're oh, only coming did, from like, three uh, different directions, so we could have had uh, kill walls. Yeah, kill hallways. <laughs> uh oh, um, game. What's wrong? Oh, it's not gonna tell me because I, it's not gonna tell me because my inventory is full. I bet. Okay, where is it? I just I threw my scimitar at a oh, bug, no. and it won't give me the pop up to tell me where it is. <laughs> just drop some things then. Oh, electric guitar coming in and everything. Wow. This is some Top Gun nonsense going on right now. <laughs> it really does sound like, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, who wants that, Monty? High five <laughs> me in slow motion. How do I do this? I don't oh, know. you just meant to jump. <laughs> How do you do, 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 you, do you see a scimitar oh. anywhere here? Wait, where's the bug you threw it at? Uh, I threw it at a bug up top here. It went over the edge. It like bounced off and went over the edge here. It should be down there somewhere. I, I don't see a scimitar. Yeah, hey, I'm going to remove my... even more stuff. Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't I just matter. Unbound the throw key. Oh. I feel I feel like I, I feel like I keep saying I just unbind that key. The Seems more like a I've, reasonable thing to advise. I've yeah. I have because this I have had uh, many a weapon and tool, especially in WoW mode where it's like really tough. And I've had I, my one my first black ant uh, sword in my solo run of WoW. I 
accidentally threw it while I was in the hedge. I was real mad. Cause it just is gone. Yep, I think my mm, fresh tier nine scimitar is. So that's uh. Oh wait, wait. Oh, it just went like infinitely further than I thought. Okay, we got uh, it. That was so much further away. Infinite. I do not think it, it means what you think it means. Yeah, yeah the theoretically infinite. It was it was like a good oh, I can never tell. It was like a good thirty centimeters uh, using grounded terms from like wow. where it fell off of a small cliff. So I don't know how it slid it all the way. It feels kinda so nostalgic to be heading back to the spacer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And our weevil friend is still trying to slowly tear apart our base. He's not happy. Are with we that bringing table. him with us? I don't no. think we can. I think he's. We just can't just there. bring a giant weevil with us. Ah, uh, I think he's one with the table at this point. <sighs> I mean, but we gotta. Somebody's back, gotta I was gonna use pick the you table. Up. It's okay. I can spawn at the kick case. <laughs> Fast travel. Oh, you can. Yeah. yeah, you can always. Yeah, you can always respawn at the kid case. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm using Pete's big brain. But you dropped all your stuff. But didn't we establish? It's okay. That I don't. I don't need to take a bunch of ant heads back to the giant. But don't like, you want to embiggen them? Gonna... You'd no. be able to make a fortune. No, no you wouldn't. Yeah, People you would, would have so many questions. It's like you show up with a giant toenail sword. Do you think our friends are going to uh, be like, oh, that's cool, or uh, do you think it's going to be a source of endless <laughs> bullying? I mean, at that point, we have a toenail sword. I, I feel like the solution presents itself. Yeah, nobody's going to mess with that, the toenail sword, kid. I feel that a toenail sword is going to be significantly less dangerous at scale than, you know, it is down here. I, I don't consider... know, man. Yeah. Have you ever no, stepped I'm, on, I'm like, an accidental, these... like, old toenail? I'm Ooh, really yeah. concerned. Ugh, that's... A... <laughs> it happens. Wow. No, seriously. Yeah, like sharp. in a random carpet somewhere. They yeah. Once they dry I... out, they're they'll they'll get you. Okay, this is nasty. Is... Huh. I think we're avoiding the big issue, bigger issue here, which is how many actual toenails would it take to make a two scale toenail sword? <laughs> and when do we start? <laughs> oh god! Uh, you know what they say? Like uh, the best time to plant no. a tree was yesterday. <laughs> No, <laughs> why? Second best time is uh, now. Begin me. Is he gonna come with us now? I hope so. I think that's the good ending. Is like. I love that this conversation is happening while World War Three is going on around me in bug form. <laughs> I wonder if that would have changed if we hadn't done the orc stuff. Uh, sorry, the uh, Moldorc stuff. I think that's I think that's the difference is if you don't do Schmecter, I think he gets like depressed and just says, "Go become big. I'm gonna stay a raisin." Oh wow. Okay. Are you going to well, be okay? Yeah, because he wouldn't have found out the cure to the raisin. Yeah. So even if he grew big, he'd be like that. Right. We don't want no big raisins. Whatever will be, will be. Hey, Sarah, Sarah. I'm going to say nothing. Case of the ant lion. Case of the ant lion. <laughs> Dialing. What? Hello, dear. Oh. Will you be interested in taking a short survey on the equality of my survey? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Virgil. No, I do not. You throw things at poor Raisin Boy over here? I need you to yeah. keep an eye on the raw science convergence coupling. The last thing we need is an overload spike. Wait, you are leaving? Yeah. Have you been dissatisfied with my service? Aw, oh, Burgle. Don't worry. I'll come back for you when things calm down in the real world. 
but it may be a while. Oh. Don't worry, you'll have our weevil friend. Google, this is a big responsibility. Arcom communication crouch next to it over and over again. Commitment to outstanding customer service. Really? My circuits are sizzling, Dr. Tully. Sizzling. Sizzling. Congratulations, Manager Burgle. Oh, God. Thank you very much. This is it. My young friend, when you get home, do me a favor. Don't grow up too fast. <laughs> will you? He's flying around. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I'm going to hug Wendell. I'm just going to curl over Wendell to protect him from your bullying. Okay, then. Would you do the honors of flipping the switch? For I better, of all my friends, break your <laughs> glass jar. For science. I only had ten pebbles. You are bad people. <laughs> Naughty bad. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let's go. Uh, follow me, Wendell. He won't follow me. I'm not I surprised. He, does. <laughs> he doesn't follow? What the I, heck? I, whoa, we had a sour magic man. Now I'm taking this back to the real world with me. <laughs> to deal with those toenail sword bullies. What the heck? Bye, guys. Oh, that was cool. Well, oh, the sour staff is still bouncing around. I know. He didn't seem like he had any dialogue about him coming, really. I mean, he said he was going to oh. come with us, but then he didn't oh, come that's to the with us. Is much shorter than I thought it was. <laughs> yeah, that is a tiny oak tree. Oh my lord. I don't think they grow branches like that until they're much bigger. Dear lord. Uh, I mean, they do if you're like. Or root systems like that. And with Several flash, months later. Was the end of the tiny adventure of a life. Eons later. At least that's what the local papers call it. It's hard to believe how much has happened since then. There were reporters, investigators, even the FBI. They tried to keep a lid on all of it, but the whole story came out about the kidnappings, about the dead teenagers. About Vector only has four teeth. Turns out everyone did learn the name of Director Dalton Schmechter, just like he always was. But when the dust settled, the weirdest thing happened. People learned the truth about the shrinking technology and about me. He did come back. That's him. Felt good. Hey. The He's less raisiny. So how did he oh. do that? Just stem cells? Pete a long nutrient bath. Because like the reason we're immune is because we are young. Has I totally read that as ribbit. He's the mascot. Tell I'm expecting big things from all. <gasps> Wait, they got Burgle big again? Bigand. Oh my god, they're still no, wearing the same clothes. Tully scholarship fund. I know, do we never wash? Do we not have changes? Because when it comes oh, to the, the clothes are fused to our skin because of the embiggening that process. Mm. Oh, that would make sense, yeah. Oh, It's Thor and Sarah. Family's back together. If and you get the bad true. ending, the Game entire dialogue... Card. Wow. If you get the bad ending, the entire dialogue is just Tully weeping. Oh, God. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen yeah. what it's like? I'm not easily impressed, but... We got an A. Hey. Yeah, got an a. Teen score, 91. Bonus Complete score. Complete more mixers. Complete more hey. mixers. Oh, yeah. come on. <laughs> I think we had a lot missing other than okay. that. We didn't even get all the milk molars. Yeah. Deaths, well, 26. 81. <laughs> wow. More signs, indeed. Well, what is? Oh, it's the. That's it. Credits. It's the credits.
I had so like what did you think then, peeps? What would you change? What did you like? What didn't you like? About the game? Yeah. More content. Just wait for the next. I'm just waiting for the next thing. Yeah. It's the I, I don't. I don't think this. I, I stand with the community and. Uh, oh, I'm gonna well, skip this. One... I have no idea if this is YouTube safe. <laughs> yeah, this is. This is. Yeah, 100. percent Yeah, let's go. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I can't hold E to skip. I can't hold E to skip. There we go. Um, please let me skip. There we go. <laughs> Maybe it's fine, but. I stand. Uh, I'm gonna assume it's not. So uh, that that music is yeah. gonna be replaced with something else. <laughs> Silence or some other kind of music. Maybe some lo-fi. The Super Mario Brothers athletic theme, or the cave <laughs> theme. But yeah, I liked that a lot. Thank you guys for uh, joining me on this one. Yeah, it was yeah, super yeah. fun. Yeah, we really enjoyed it. It's a good game. It's a good game. I'm. What would you change though? Were there I would say more defensive structures. Like? like that. Yeah. That last so one more definitely power felt. Defense kind of stuff. Yeah. If we could have some aphids yeah. manning weak little turrets that we just put up everywhere, that'd be real fun. Yeah. Or, or I, I'm gonna say like I would love to have have had the ability to build those laser defenses and stuff. Yeah. Like. Like really oh, grinding up to high tech stuff would have been amazing yeah. i i was gonna say like maybe after you you finish off schmecter's lab you get access to burgle yeah. tech and it's just like a bunch of burgle turrets with laser eyes yeah no stuff like that would have been amazing but i I'm, i agree with you on that one like it would have been nice to have a more fleshed out defensive kind of element not like um like walls and stuff that were purely defensive like um hedgehogs and stuff like that you know yeah. I've become super spoiled with games like like a Tarkov or even even in some some degrees like a Path of Exile where like I want every game to have like a rich post game like where you play through the story you experience the story and then there's still just like a whole new like content uh, experience after it like I think I think the way that the story pans out in this up even to the Schmecter fight I feel like once you beat him, if you have no plans to, like, do anything else in the yard, all of those late game upgrades become almost useless. Yeah. Mm. And I feel like if you, if yeah, your progression, you if your progression peak is at the end of the game, when all of those upgrades aren't really going to be useful anymore, uh... Yeah, I see where that. you're going with that. Yeah, and that's like the you don't get long mother. enough to play with yeah. those toys. The infected broodmother is the first step in that direction, and hopefully, when they do this next update, if they do expand to another biome, perhaps it's like a post-game biome, like going there without, you know, certain abilities is like you can do it, but are you really gonna want to do it? Probably not. Like, I mean, I like, would be uh, personally like with games like this, I'm not as keen on things only existing for the post game i'd enjoy a period of time where like the progression peaks right before the last biome there's nothing new to get in the last biome you just have to go through it to fight such and such boss to open up the ending but that's your period to play with the highest tier toys yeah. Um, but I, I, you know, however it's worked into it, it would be nice to have a reason to play with those toys. I, I kind of get where you're going with that. That's what the Undershed was in Early Access, and I feel like the 1.0 kind of made the Upper Yard... I just want the Upper Yard to have more reason to exist outside of exploration, because there's, outside mm. of, like, running from point A to point B, there's not really a lot up there, but the entire first half of the game in the Lower Yard, you always have a goal, you're always doing something... This yeah. lab needs to get done next. We need to prepare for this. We need to make gas masks. Once you get to the upper yard, it's like, hey, we have tier three tools and tier three armor. Now we just smack creatures over and over again until the end game. And it's, yeah, because uh, like want... a lot of the content in the upper yard was, for all intents and purposes, completely optional. Yeah, the the yeah. undershed in early access, or not in early access, but in 1.0 was like supposed to be that like end game of the upper yard. And while it is really cool, the end game is just go collect toenails and then become big again which i want i want yeah. more upper yard stuff i want like 
more labs up there, not just like because all the labs up there are really short. Outside yeah. of the undershed lab, it's like just go in here and pick up a folder, mm. like that. Uh, even that lab we just did at the end there, it was like you just fell into a hole and picked up a folder, and then yeah, fought the enough. boss. There was no like there was actually no dungeon really. Yeah. But I quite like the the variance of the things that you could do, like the different armor sets, the different weapon sets. I actually felt that that was quite quite comfy. It was, there was a lot of option there, and you could do. Like I it was nice to be able more? to have different builds. Common, common I mean, more is, more is always nice. Common yeah. um, is more stuff because tier one really doesn't get explored at all. It, I want them to it, stretch it by out. By the end, it did feel three. that yeah. at least for four players, there was definitely each one of us had a different niche that we had settled into by then, and yeah. there was still some more besides. I guess I, want, I just didn't I feel like I had an armor set that actually fit my build. I was just wearing whatever yeah. because nothing presented itself that was better. But you were a bit of an everyman, though, weren't you? I was full berserker well, by the end. Pure club. Oh, were you? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I haven't picked up a bow in like three and there sessions. Was, and there was no there was no armor set for that? Ladybug would have been the... Ladybug. Yeah, and but like Ladybug's like, ladybug. yeah. tier one, tier two? Ladybug's tier two, but it's, tier two, but it's but strong it's enough the best, to carry It's one of the end. best armors in the game. And if you're would, going any of the healing... Yeah, and I believe it does oh, work okay. with the Barbarian's regen as well. Yeah. So you do get 25% better healing with that, or 36% better healing with Barbarian as well. I think it's... The armor sets felt very nice to play with, especially because it does try to get you to branch out rather than just go for full armor bonus from wearing all three pieces of the same set. But at least at the highest level, like, there's only one tier three dagger, unless you count the two-handed mantis... Axe one that's like kind of its own thing because you can't yeah. use it with most of the common dagger stuff. Mm. Um, so, so let me ask this this question then because I've played it before. I have a lot of time in the game. I've done three playthroughs. This will be four. Uh, did you guys feel like the early and by early game I mean tier one, not like lower yard because lower yard is like the first half of the game but did you feel like that first initial startup phase like building your house in terraria and getting your like copper i mean we skipped copper mm -hmm. but getting your first like bits of gear did you feel like that lasted long enough for a survival game that you wanted it to because i my common complaint with grounded has always been i want tier one to be broadened a little bit more instead yeah. of just like you get a pebble of hammer and then all of a sudden you're in the hedge and you just forget that tier one ever existed because then you're in yeah. tier two for like 20 I hours. I felt we did I move think... out of tier one fairly quickly, but I don't know how they would broaden it. So, well, part build of it variety. is not just build variety. If they locked the higher tier weapons behind more than just find a part and analyze it. Because as it stands, right. if I were to do another playthrough right now, I could like grab a weevil shield, run straight up to upper yard, and probably have at least a tier three axe and hammer in like 30 minutes. Because yep. now I know all the patterns. Wow. But if they lock that behind doing story progression or behind needing to analyze even more stuff, because the way it works now is you unlock recipes either by analyzing a piece of the recipe or by reaching that level of, what is it, brain power? Brain power. Yeah. By just getting normal science, which already caps out at 16. Um, but then there's also like the recipes scattered throughout the world and recipes that you only unlock after getting like certain levels of comfy or certain um right yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, story yeah. beats done i think brain power need, needed to get explored a lot more i feel like if brain power allowed you to craft them and researching them figured out what the recipes were and then obviously for like the speedrunners are going to hate that because speedrunning this game is really popular but make it an option in like the, the settings to be like brain power requirement for craft and then just to get, enable that little bit of hardcore, or maybe, maybe even just woe mode itself means you need to meet the brain power, force you to go get science, right? Force you to get research points, rather than just like, go smack a Black Widow sack and all of a sudden you've got, you know, a Black Ox hammer in the first 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I guess sequence breaking is kind of part of the game. Like they allow you to platform to wherever you want to go. Like there's really not an area in this game. There's like two or three areas that you actually need to build to access and it's optional. Like you can so just walk up on the grass topic and go of building you want. to access to, to gain access to things. I actually really like the build system and the fact you can just build anyway. 
Nope, that almost anywhere. Pretty cool. You can't well, build it all in like the yeah. undershed. The yeah. entirety of the undershed have is land rights. Yeah, Wander will never <laughs> be the landlord of the undershed. <laughs> but yeah, because it even if they just lock like the problem is if they locked tier two for too long, then you have to lock tier two up to tier three for longer. Otherwise, yeah. that becomes the skipped tier. That's why I mean I just want everything to be expanded out. Like keep mm -hmm. the story the same length, but expand it out so that maybe you're still getting recipes after Schmecter. You I'd can be end the game, but then you you can continue the game after that. So what mm -hmm. would you think about a, a system in which getting the higher tier of each weapon type requires you to gain experience with like the tier one or whatever tier is below it? So, like, using a spear enough means you can eventually go, like, oh, wait, I could make a spear out of this new spider fang I found. But you can't just make it as is. I feel like they'd have to completely redesign at that point. They would. That's true. Because the problem is if they just, if in a game like Grounded, if they just drop new items, it's always going to be cool for about 20 hours. But if they add a new mechanic, like if they were to add automated tower defense stuff, if they added a new system to the game's core, it would make every subsequent playthrough that much better versus just, well, now we have a, an axe that does poison damage. Like, right, yeah, that's yeah. the problem with just adding pieces instead of like full new, like, like expand on what's already there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well... I had an enormous amount of fun. Thank you very much for uh, for the weeks that it has been that we've been playing this. Yeah, it has 11 been fantastic sessions. to actually have a, a group that, you know, outside of like illnesses or like house moving and things like that, well, pretty much, you know, made a point of, of meeting up every week to, to crank out a game. three hours worth of uh, the time. Yeah, no, this has been absolutely fantastic. And it's kind of rare to get a group that can make that kind of scheduling work. So thank you very much, guys. It has been a pleasure. Yeah, oh, time to do it again, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, now we, we find the, the next game. Now we have the discussion <laughs> of what and who is involved, and even mm -hmm. if it's just us four again. I, Lalash I'm, wants How in. long until we can start? I know, I, I, I know Lalash is, he's very, he's very ready at this point. <laughs> yes. As the weeks have gone on, he's been thinking about it more and more. <laughs> so... He's he's what? ready to not be sabotaged within twenty minutes. So, <laughs> well, that's it for grounded at the very least. This has been grounded. This has been us. And uh, for now, yeah, hope you've all enjoyed. Oh. For now, that that infected brood brother will get what's coming. One don't day. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Community viewing chats. She's gonna get what's <laughs> coming. I will. We will defeat her. We almost got her. We actually were doing really well. Yeah. We almost got her, and then she 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 went into like exorcist mode well i gotta oh, go rest right. my voice bye bye everybody this is fun oh, bye bye yeah bye bye i finally got an achievement in this game <laughs> you did it i haven't gotten it i got three new achievements i haven't gotten an achievement for so long let's go <laughs> all right bye bye uh, chat, that's going to be it for me. Uh, this is a lot longer than I meant to, but on the flip side, we beat Grounded. I uh, wanted to play Neo. I did. Maybe it'll come up with this group, but I make no promises. Uh, I don't want to push us to play Souls Likes anytime soon, and that's an in time investment that I can't casually do. Anyway, so don't know when my next stream is going to be. It's probably going to be after my voice is fully recovered, but I'm feeling a lot better. I only felt like I really needed a cough in that first hour, and then after that, I kind of recovered. Uh, but I will see you guys when I see you. Keep an eye on Discord. That's usually where I announce these things. But for now, good night, and see you next time.